Welcome everybody to Thursday night, or some people have said Thunesday night. It, I don't know if it doesn't work. I say it if you will. Uh, uh, I didn't. You know what? On Tuesday, no flurf showed up on TikTok. I'm like, I gotta get, I gotta get some flurfs crushed this week. So uh, let's go over to a, a Discord server. So this is the yet again rebuilt, relaunched, re whatever Tartaria server. Um, it, they just can't keep it going for more than a month. I don't think they like it up for more than a month. I don't know. Um, two things before, before I pop over there. Number one is that I am doing a meetup. I just want to remind people again, it will be, there it is. It's on the, it's on the screen there. It's Lucky 13's pub in Bloomington, Minnesota it will be July the 5th. Uh, we'll meet at 7 PM. I think unless somebody says, Let's make it later so that we can party later. I don't know. It's a Wednesday. What are you going to do? You're going to party on a Wednesday? Okay, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> but they have a seating outside. They have seating inside. So if it's decent weather, we can hang out outside. And um, all right, number two, I can't believe it. My ugly identical cousin, McFlatty, has said that he's doing another video and he's demanding that I put it on my channel. So... I don't know. I probably, I probably will, but uh, grudgingly, of course. So anyway, here I go over to the, the server. There you see it on the screen. If you're interested in popping in the server, you can. Uh, the link to it is in the description. And unless they have banned you, which happens, then you can join in live. Just don't, don't try to get in too much. I'll, I'll go for a little bit in here and then, um, and then whoever is in there can just, you know, have have fun crushing flurfs all night long. To that type of, you know, point that we're talking about. Um, so, yeah, that, that's so that's geothermal. Yeah. Uh, but it, that's it, not perpetual motion. Perpetual progress. motion is that the energy that is created is in a continuous loop. Right. It's not that you're adding any energy into it, which by digging down and having water flow through a you know heated area like that that's adding it pc tony says july 5th in bloomington that's an incredible coincidence yet another place i will not be that is very coincidental uh yeah i understand hello carry this on another day anyway because um i think we're supposed to be getting started aren't we? hello I'm jason okay. He said hello then. Oh, what's that? Oh, Jim, sorry, mate. I'm, I'm going to have to turn your audio up a bit. All right. Um, it's a little <laughs> difficult to understand, Jason. So, Solaris984 was just talking? Yes. All right. Well, I, I uh, arranged with uh, Jason to come in here, and I'm live streaming on YouTube right now. So, um, Well, hello, YouTube. Hello. They say hello back, I'm sure. Um, <clears throat> yeah, hello. My, my name has been changed to, to just M. Look at that. Amazing. Where? Um, oh, I see Ruhif. How you doing, Ruhif? Hello. Ah, the sultry, Perhaps. the sultry tones the of dulcet. The, the dulcet, dulcet, not sultry. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Jason, are there any flat earthers in here? Anybody that thinks the Earth is flat? Well, that was a good start, wasn't it? No, no I, there was a couple of people supposed to be arriving, so. I know it's five past, uh, what time is it there for you? Eight o'clock, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Just give five more minutes and... All right. Um, we'll see. Well, I, I see that there's a handful of people in here. I take it, Solaris, you're not... A, I'm not familiar with you. I haven't met you before. Uh, your question was what? Sorry, I was talking uh, to my wife. What? Take it, you're not a flat earther? No, I'm not. Oh, good for you. <laughs> Let's see who else we got. We got the unknown poet. 
He's definitely on your side. He is. All right. And then uh, somebody whose name is is not American letters, so I can't read it. Have a wild step in the dark who that is. Um, no. I, can't, I, I couldn't even guess. Well, there's only one person around here whose name changes if he's coming in. Oh, that would be Dovid then. So, for those oh, wondering... And Danny, Danny's, Danny's here as well. Hi, oh, Danny. Danny? Hello. Oh, is that Danny? Danny, no. Danny Faulkner? Yes. Hey, Danny. You Wait. just doxed me, man. Come on. Uh-oh. <laughs> Did I... So, I think so. people know who I am, so it's not a problem. Your, your picture doxes you. <laughs> Um, and I see God Rockin'. Is that Godwin? God Rockin'. Is, is that Godwin? No. God Rockin'. No. Oh. It's God Rockin'. Is that actually Danny Faulkner? It is. No, no it's your stunt oh. double. Did you go to the same university as Danny Tompkins? What would you say, Did you go to the same university as Jeff Tompkins, Danny? I don't know. I think he did. Jeff Tompkins got his uh, PhD in genetics from Clemson with a creationist uh, PhD mentor. Right. Um, <clears throat> so, man, it's a little thin, thin in here for the for the flatties. Is God Rockin? God Rockin is one of the uh, stream hosts. Are are you? Uh, are you on the flat side? Are you with the flat gang? Well, um, I don't like to call myself a flat earther because I don't think you can objectify the earth. So, but I do believe we live on a, on a, I, I think see, the seeds are level. So take it from there. Well, the definition of level is curved. So uh, that makes you a glober. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Oh, that's ridiculous. Thank you. <laughs> Well, I mean, the dictionary disagrees, but uh, I'm glad, glad to, uh, you're, you're one of the, the flat earthers that doesn't want to say that you're a flat earther. I got it. There's, there's a bunch of you go, going around lately. I have got a, a, a question. It's slightly off topic, though. It's a serious question, if you want to hear it while we're waiting. Sure. It's about evolution. Okay. Uh I I, I, I won't have I, I don't have much of an answer on that. It's not really my strength. But go ahead. Okay, all right then. I'll, okay, let's try and get some people's opinions then. Yeah. Um. Uh, nowadays, I don't really buy into evolution for various things, but there's one thing of it that I can't I can't fathom out how it works. Now, if anyone can, you know, spread any light on this, would be quite quite cool. Right, you get some animals in the wild, right? That. <clears throat> They've got markings on them that look like the animals that eat those animals. So those animals leave them alone. Do you see what I mean? For example, you've got a butterfly that looks like a snake, that, that, and the snake. What butterfly looks like a snake? So the snake eats, say, a mouse, and the mouse eats a butterfly, right? So the mouse is scared of the butterfly because he's scared of mo um, snakes, obviously, because he thinks the butterfly's a snake. So how did these animals figure out how to mimic what each other looked like by their own markings in order to uh, deter each other? That's so funny. <laughs> Just throwing it out there because I, I don't know how that mechanism works. I couldn't even imagine. I couldn't even imagine how that would work evolution wise let alone any other way i i'm i'm familiar with the butterfly that looks like a snake to there's tell, lots of animals tell, tell there's more. lots of animals there's lots of animals like that uh, it's the markings on them and i can't remember if it's exactly a snake but this one large butterfly and it opens its wings it's got like two two, two things that look like the eyes of this other of the predator of the thing that eats the butterfly so it's not directly scaring its own predator off it's but it is but it's pretending to be the thing that eats its own predator which you know 
And there's lots of versions of that in nature, apparently. I don't know, maybe, look. maybe it went to the the uh, the snake class, and, uh, and you know was in the, uh, next, the room next to it. You know, yeah, I can imagine that. A bit like drama class for uh, snakes. This is how to disguise as a snake. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a quick look see if I can find you a solid okay. example. Some people are saying do. there are caterpillars that look like snakes, but not butterflies. If that's what yeah, I mean, yeah, I wasn't being properly specific about the type of animal. That was just like an example. But there uh, are many examples, apparently, that, of animals. And you've also got animals that mimic other animals, as in, the, like, the mimic octopus will actually, like, mimic other things, right? Yeah, like, uh, like what, the weird. octopus that looks like a, a snow tiger. Well, in, well, in, in just in case octopus. you didn't hear what Jason said, he said the markings on the wings are imitating the, the look of a snake or whatever. It's the markings on the wings of the butterfly. It's not the butterfly itself. All right. right. Yeah. Octopuses are incredibly intelligent, so, you know. Well, that mimic octopus does actually physically mimic things. Like, uh, I've seen uh, like, uh, things with them where they, they put, like, um, I can't remember. I think they put a telephone in there or something with it, and it was and it was... Turning itself into the shape of a telephone and things like this. A butterfly, oh, the shape of a telephone? Not a butterfly, an octopus. An the octopus. mimic octopus. Yeah, that one, he hasn't got markings. That physically changes its shape to look like something else. Yeah, they're very smart creatures. Yeah, and then they can get through really thin gaps. They can virtually squash themselves flat to get through things. So, um, Patrick Butler, who's uh, Pat... Patman is asking for per, uh, chat permission in your server there, Jason. If you can do that. Um, let's have a quick look, only because. Uh, uh, and then, and then I've been I've been told that that R Ruhiv's voice is neither sultry nor dulcet. This is from PhD twenty. He says it's on, no. He says it's uh, mellifluous. I Don't think I pronounced that, that wrong. Google. May have pronounced that wrong. Hold on. Let me let me pay a more close close attention to the letters in the word. Yeah, mellifluous. Mellifluous. There you go. That's a new word for me. It's just sexy, Tony. Come on. Yeah. Sexy. Repo Sandman says that adult atlas moths don't eat. They have no mouths. Did you now? Now you know. You didn't know that before, but now you do. Who did you say wanted to uh, wanted to join? Uh, Pat Man. Uh, he wants see. voice poems. Yeah. Pat Am Man. Pat, the... Pat Man Thirty Four specifically. Uh, there you go. Okay. I'm just wondering. And and bearded Dora also was as a <laughs> fantastic profile picture. Bearded Dora. That's lovely. What up? <laughs> Amazing. Uh wonder wonder how mellifluous bearded Dora's voice is. Very mellifluous. There you go. You're gonna to have to stick with me, Richard. Who's this, Pat Man? Because I can't, I can't see a message is sent. Am I missing something? Well, let me see if I can. Even... There, there, there he is. I just, I just uh, typed his name. Then, there it is. Oh, there. he's been told no already. Anyway, because he hasn't got a. Uh... He needs a. He, he needs an got... avatar. He does indeed. Yeah. Oh, get, uh, grab bearded Doras. Nobody will know. You're gonna grab me. Yep. Son of a bitch. Grab bearded Dora by the beard. So <clears throat> all right. Um so God Rockin, well, I mean, yeah, it's I'm unfortunately God Rockin is a Glover too. Um man. It's thin Oh flat earther. What's that? 
The Earth is flat. <laughs> um, Go Dora. I, I'm sensing Poe. Who the fuck is Poe? Yeah, confirmed. <laughs> what is this inside joke? Yes, when when people pretend to not know what a Poe is, when you're asking them if they're a Poe, confirms that they're a Poe. What's a Poe? Like Popo? Exactly. Exactly. Um, oh, there it is. Liquid Flame says that the Wikipedia article for uh, a Poe's Aposematism explains how animals evolve markings that warn off predators. Liquid flames. That's what we're talking about. New evolution. Uh, let's see. There you go. Who said that? That was liquid flames. And uh, liquid flames, you could post the link. I gave you permission, and then I'll send it over to the Discord people, and then they'll know, and they'll be they'll then they'll be better people. Who just randomly shouted the word evolution? Then. Come on, own up. I didn't. No, no, it wasn't you. Who else? Who else is here? Um, I'm going. Oh, you I, do, as a huh? question. Yeah. What you shouted the word evolution? That was a question, yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't really think it's a thing. What evolution? Yeah, where species turn into different species. I don't think that's a thing. Okay. I think it's a thing. See, this is an issue with. Yeah, there's a lot of people. Not listening to somebody's finished the end of the sentence, isn't it? Yeah. I was actually putting across the opposite case because about I wasn't talking about camouflage. I was talking about these animals that they they mimic other other creatures by their markings. Okay. And uh, it's something I can't fathom out. All right. I think genetics demonstrates common descent. If uh, yeah. Danny wants to talk about that, no, it's like microevolution or micro. Um, no, I mean common common descent, as in we are related to chimpanzees. Um, speak for yourself. I'm related to the bat because I'm Batman. Yes. So. Um, Patrick Butler is wondering to you, Jason, says, I'm desperate to know how high he thinks the sun is above the flat earth. That's a great question, well, Jason. Um, how would I know? Well, you'd go measure it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, could I? Sure. For that, I'd need some sort of motivation, wouldn't I? Well, you would need motivation. Yeah, you'd have to leave the house, maybe. I mean, you could probably do it from the backyard, sort of. Yeah, I'm, right? I'm, I'm in m motivation to actually try and measure something like that. Oh, that sounds because like it's, it's a never-ending, it's, it's a never-ending argument, isn't it? It's hard. No, it's now, not. You, it's not really a never-ending argument. <laughs> we just, you know, if you want to really draw me laugh. into it, I'll, if you want to really draw me into it, I'll, I'll try and choose my my words correctly. Then when I answer, you. okay, right. I, you know, I don't think it's 93 million miles away, put it that way. Yeah, but that didn't um, answer the question. That was completely a different topic. The topic is how high is the the um, sun yeah, above know. flat Earth? Yeah. I know. Yeah. I was trying to answer it. Oh. Well, no, I don't know. But I would, I would hazard a guess I, that it's uh, closer than 93 you, million miles. I believe miles. that you don't know. Yeah. I believe that you don't know either. No, I, <laughs> I know that you don't know. I didn't. I didn't say that. Uh, he's the one that's claiming ignorance, not me. So that's my middle name, though. What's that? I said that's my middle name. Ignorance. Yeah. <laughs> I believe you. I okay. don't tell many people that. <laughs> they they soon they soon figure it out for themselves. So. Yeah, it. it uh, I suppose. Um, <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, that's interesting. Oh, the the UFO community. Um, you know, there's a UFO community. I, I've there's I also there's help, also man. a we've been in contact constantly with other life forms from the Pleiades and the other constellations. <laughs> 
that there's a group of them and they all have like these these common um stories that they tell so like yeah last week i was up with thor hammer and uh, we were chatting about this oh really well tell me more about mr thor hammer's new message for humanity it's uh and, and so my question I, that i always ask is are they individually like talking to each other behind the scenes like here's the new story that we're gonna break today or is everyone um does everyone think that they're the only one that's faking it and all the other people are legit? That's what I want to know. What, faking alien contact, you mean? Yeah, so that they're like, they think that, that there's a galactic federation, they totally lifted that from Star Trek, and and that the, the galactic federation has, a get, get this, ready, a prime directive, which is the exact same prime directive as in Star Trek. Yeah, yeah, I'm fully aware of this. Yeah, I used to be, I used to be really into UFOs, uh, and used to hang out with all, all that community. I don't know if you know it, but I used to hoax crop circles. You see, so that, that, you used to I do crop to circles. All them, like, um, most of them are uh, a little bit nutty. I must admit, but one thing I did notice year after year, meeting these people every year, was that they kind of it's very contemporary. Alien, alien encounters or UFOs. If you look back, like since the fifties, when the first, well, since the forties, when the first showed up, generation by generation, encounters with these things, people and craft, have been contemporary with the time. So in the forties, they looked a certain way. In the fifties, they did. In the sixties, they did. Then the seventies came. Spielberg made close encounters. And then greys appeared. You know, yep. and uh, and nowadays they've kind of morphed it now into the whole. Um, is it that multiverse thing? I'm not really into that, but you know, I think it's kind of gone that way. Yeah, when it uh, it does seem a little suspicious that the uh, the UFO um, encounters track with popular fiction. How does yeah. that happen? How does that happen? Well, I'll tell you what, as well, and you can there's some stories that overlap both from flat Earth and the UFO community. Most famously was uh, um. You know when the um the Operation High Jump when they go to uh Antarctica I think. Okay. And they took all yeah, they took all yeah, you know, the they took uh, aircraft carriers down there and some allegedly went down. It was at the end of the Second World War. Um and at the time the UFO crowd were using that as a to fit into their UFO law that Hitler had underground alien bases and uh, Antarctica and all this, blah, 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 and his own UFOs. And nowadays that's kind of morphed into, um, you know, the Admiral Byrd and, and the South Pole and, you know, the thing that the flat earth was going about. Okay. Interesting to note that, that Admiral Byrd had been stripped of all of his records, like, because he had records for going to the South Pole on a plane first and... Him and the person who he accused of cheating have been totally removed from uh, from the record books, and I think you'll find um, Emmonson, who's a Norwegian, I think. I think he's credited now with both the North and the South Pole first. But well, basically, Bird and the other guy were caught cheating. They were caught cheating. Oh my gosh! Yeah, they were doing. I mean, I've never stuff. I've yeah. never bought into that Admiral Bird thing myself. To oh, be honest, that's first. good. Uh, now, th th I got to say something. PJ CNET is a flat earther who is in my live chats a lot. And he normally says things that are quite crazy. Um, whatever is the newest woo nonsense thing, he's in. He's usually in. He's, he, you know, psychics, he's in. But, but he just said it's been proven crop circles can be human made. Can you believe that? <laughs> he actually said something that made sense. PJC, well done, well done. Well, this doesn't go down very well with a lot of people, but I think about how many years now? Four, four or five years we spent hoaxing crop circles in Wiltshire, right? And I've got to say it, I, I think they're all man-made as well. All right. I went in every circle I could every year, like sometimes a lot every year. And some of them are large and impressive, but I've never seen anything that couldn't have been done with people, to be honest. Because you'd be amazed what me and my mate did, two people together. So if you had a team of six, 
Be easy. Simple as that. Sorry to interrupt you, mate, because um, two people are wanting some perms, uh, XO and um, somebody else. Um, I don't know. S Solaris. I want to talk to Solaris for a second. Solaris984. How you doing? Oh, might not be. Might not be at the keyboard. Uh, I don't think Solaris can uh, talk at the moment. All right. One minute, one minute. I'm just trying to get it sorted, guys. I'm still new to this. Uh, and Dovid, the one at the bottom there, right? You're Dovid? Uh, yeah, Dovid sorting it. It's okay. Oh, he's getting it. Okay. Awesome. Well, who we get? We've got bird is the word and dogs are gods. <laughs> is is dogs are god is, gods? Is that a. Um, um, is dogs are. Ooh, dogs. All right, mate. <laughs> um, oh, went away. Rez <laughs> said his name and he's gone. But I said bird is the word and didn't he didn't run off yet. Hey, what's up? Hello. Uh, uh, It's a distinct lack of flows here. It is, and this is so. This well, is we what, just, this just, is the Tartaria server. Yeah, hold your horses. We're getting it sorted. I don't have we've any got horses. A, we, we've got a flat earther <laughs> for you. I've, but I don't have any horses. What shall I hold now? Uh, I have been asked to cut down on my obscenities, so I'll leave it at that one. Okay. Uh, somebody asked if you could sing for us your rendition of Crazy Train. Me. Yeah. Uh, two problems there. Huh? I don't. I don't know the song. Okay. And I can't sing. Well, uh, maybe we could karaoke it, and you could just just do it. <laughs> what do you think? I, I want to know what the song is first. Cause... <laughs> All right. Well, Ozzy Os Osbourne song. Right. Uh, do you know I was born in the same hospital as Ozzy Osbourne? Well, that you're, you've already got a leg up on everybody else here. There it is. There. Where did you? I don't know. There's, there's the lyrics. Uh. Okay. Just... <laughs> One minute. So, David, have you, um, have you sorted it yet? Uh, Tau Software says, doesn't know Crazy Train. Unsubbed. There you go, Jason. You lost a subscriber. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to me, is it not the first album that Ozzy did with Randy Rhodes? Uh, I don't know if it was the first or not, but I know Randy Rhodes did play guitar on it. Yeah, uh, I think it was the first. But the one, I guess it was probably one of their biggest hits for sure. Uh, yep. When Randy was with him. Randy hasn't put out a lot of music lately. It's because oh, he's guys, dead. Give me two minutes, I'll be back. I'm just going to sort out this. I had a plane crash. It crashed into the, to the tour bus I, I and know. then into the power lines. I dead. know, I was kidding. Oh, all right. <laughs> and uh, uh, by, and Oz, by Ozzy, was, Oz, Ozzy was quite upset over that, by the way. Oh, yes. I won't. If, if, uh, if, he, if Ozzy shows up, I won't bring it up. It's probably still sore. Also, Cliff Burton hasn't had a lot of music that he's been working on lately. No side projects or anything. True story, we had a cat named Cliff. Cliff was named after Cliff Burton. Um, also, Cliff had kittens. Was, uh, we, <laughs> my sister did not know its gender when it received the name Cliff. <laughs> I see that the trash men have shown up. The trash men? Yeah, bird is a word. Oh, is that is that the is that a song by a band oh, called the Trash Man? Yeah. Yep. It goes back to the sixties. Okay. The bird, 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 bird is a word. Well, I know that song, but I didn't the know. The trash men. All right. <laughs> Corporal USMC <laughs> retired. Are you assuming its gender? Uh, yeah, uh, not assuming at all. It, um, it had, it had kittens. <laughs> Call it Cliffy. 
we did call it Cliffy. Um, there you go. Yeah, and when it got older, it would get angry, and so I'd put on my choppers, which you know, chopper. If you don't live in 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 a cold climate, you don't know what choppers are. They're they're leather mittens that are uh, very thick, and so I'd put on my choppers and I'd I'd pet her because she'd get angry and then she'd bite, but she couldn't bite through the choppers. So uh, that would then I could you know pet her all day long. Were your choppers connected by a string? Oh, uh, no, they were not. Matt Klein says that everyone is in the Anti-Disinformation League uh, server. If you can get a hold of them, that's where they all are. I see. Yeah, and I've oh, noticed. Over there in the silo. I've noticed that they that they kind of go together in in herds. Um, you know, they they graze over in one server for a while, and then then one of then their shepherd brings them over to another server for a while, and so there are except there are exceptions to that rumor. There are, yeah. There's a couple that are wandering over here. Um, so far, just like two. It's two of us who haven't actually left here at all. Yeah, Jason and uh, who's the other flat earther here? I don't, I don't know. I don't speak for anyone with flat earth. <laughs> I think, it's me and Dovid have been here right since the beginning. Yeah, you know but Dovid, I mean? Dovid used to think that the Earth was a sphere, but we lived on the inside. <coughs> I'm right, not saying he thought that, but he, he, he obviously looked into that. But he came back. He came back to less insanity. <laughs> I don't know. It, it, on the scale of insanity, people... Uh, is is concave more or less insane than flat Earth? Oh. More? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, because yeah, you could just look less. up. If you just look up, yeah. you'd see the other part of the Earth. But yeah, right. and the sun always. I mean, it's the same deal with flat Earth. You always see the sun. But, yeah, a hundred percent of the time, you'd see the sun on flat Earth and concave. Really? Yep. At least has a curve on it, right? Well, True. it it does, and and maps would sort of work, which flat Earth doesn't have. But but for some reason, there's a high proportion of people that are concavers that also think they're Jesus. I don't know why that's the case. He got well, he was a very he was a very calling. popular popular figure, wasn't he in uh, in the past? So. Well, yeah, Jesus he was, but. But but the the concavers that thought they were Jesus, they haven't quite had the success that the original that the OG Jesus had, um, uh, like uh, Lord Stephen Christ or um, uh, Zenith Atlas. Both I think have passed away and not resurrected, so that's a hmm. it's a kind of a knock against them. Uh, then you got Sam, Sam. Uh, oh dear, what's his name? Guy from England. Sam Kinison. No, not Sam Kennison. He, he. I <laughs> know, I was joking. He was okay. neither a, a flat a concaver, nor did he say that he was Jesus. But he did speak of Jesus at times. I think. No. Um. Anyway, Sam. Sam. He's he's goofy. Oh my goodness, is he goofy? He told me that he I had to bow down it to him, or he would not let me into heaven. I said, I'll I'll have a pass on that. Well, at least he didn't ask you for money to let you in. Uh, sorry, what was that? I said at least he didn't ask you for money to let him in, to let you in. Yeah, yeah, that's a good, good thing. <laughs> All right. Um. So, so did was somebody was somebody gonna else gonna be showing up or, or what was the? Well, we we were we are waiting on uh, on uh, X O, but he's. X. I'll, go, yeah, I'll go sort him out. He said he was coming. He just said he had something to do. Right? Uh, oh, that was it. Any now, now, Don't ask you, mate. Jason, Jason, I, you, you were a little hesitant to take the moniker of Flat Earther. How about we just call you a snow glober? A snow glober. I don't really like labels like that. No, but would would it be your your idea that uh, that there's a dome? Um, some cosmologies, yeah. 
Yeah, but I wasn't asking about some. I was asking about yours. Yeah, but you're asking me questions that I couldn't possibly answer, aren't you? Delvin, uh, Stormfire says he can't get in the room. He's no, he's in there. Oh, yes? Oh, all right. Yeah, we're waiting, on, uh, we're waiting on Nick's server, basically. I just want... Yeah, geez, I've, ne I've never seen a dome. I've always, I mean, the, the sky even is in flights or whatnot are, are planned horizontally. But, but there was an encyclopedia, I think somebody shared it even today. It was like 1948 or 1958, where, where they claimed to have uh, uh, reached a ceiling of a dome in exploration. Oh, my God. Weird. Yeah, I, rem I remember have, that, yeah. Have none of you, like, traded around information how ridiculous that is? Like why? It was just in an encyclopedia. I don't know. It, it's but, you know. it's it's amazing to me that things like that just keep getting recycled when when it's really easy to understand. They didn't claim that they got to some elevation and got to the dome. Dome is the name in in geography or ge geology of a non pointy mountain, and they and they gave the elevation. And you can look on maps of Antarctica now. And see, they have the same name, the same location, and the same elevation on the maps. It's not the dome. It's not the firmament. It is a mountain that's not pointy. How do you know we're talking about the same thing? Because I've been around for five years. So you, you know the... Uh, you know A the whole five years. So I, what I, year was the encyclopedia that I was referencing? I think it was 58 or 56, 57, somewhere there. Okay. I know the one you're talking about because I did start looking in old uh, encyclopedias and uh, there are a lot of old dictionaries that were kind of half dictionaries, half encyclopedias and old atlases and I'll be honest, I've never found anything other than you know what they say today about it and, uh, a lot of them haven't got Antarctica in the old ones because I don't think they'd actually properly discovered it even yeah, at the time be but... Before World War II about there's not a lot on Antarctica because it wasn't explored much Yeah, I mean, that's for the dome thing. I mean, you know, I know a lot of religions support the idea and, you know, and there's a lot of modern myth that supports the idea as well. But really, unless you can actually get there yourself to the edge and, you know, check it out, then you'll never, you never truly know, will you? So it is Encyclopedia yeah, Americana 1958. Yeah, here it is, yeah. And uh, okay, here's a little snippet from it. It says, it says uh, these, these flights prove the inland areas to be featureless in character with a dome 13,000 feet high at a latitude of 80 degrees south, longitude 90 degrees east. New mountain ranges were located at about latitude 85 south. So um, 13,000 feet is not actually very high. Um, regular like single engine airplanes get higher than that. So if you're talking about right, a, dome, right. so what are they... a dome at 13,000 feet, that's a pretty stinking low dome. Yeah, that would be like, I don't know. I mean, if somebody's imagining it, right? I, don't, I'm, I haven't been there. I haven't checked it out. But like if you took a container lid, right? And you put it, you flip it, you're a bowl, you flip it upside down on your table. If you go to the edge where it meets the ground, yeah, it would be pretty low. But this is just, uh, you're saying that this encyclopedia is referencing a mountain? Called yes. the dome, the a, dome mountain. A, a dome, which is a word for a mountain. Okay. It, it's it's a geographic word, a word that has a, a particular meaning in geography. So I'm that that's why I'm I'm I'm. It's always baffling that that you. You keep recycling these things and nobody ever does their own research. They only just parrot other people and doesn't, and they don't go to look up. Well, is that an actual word that people use to refer to a non pointy mountain? You could have done that. Um, but people don't, they just say, Oh, look, here's a video. Therefore it's true. Never actually looking it up completely being. Oh, you may have, you may have a, I'm not trying to contradict you. May have there, a, but... You may have a point with this encyclopedia, right? But that's not anybody's, like, I guess, I wouldn't say, I would say it's kind of like a straw man. That's nobody's claim of the dome. They're not saying, well, gas pressure needs a container. 
uh, but the encyclopedia it's in not a straw man at all. Yeah, I've seen so multiple flat earthers posted on YouTube and Facebook as if it would is you say that's their origin? Proof. Right. So would you say that that's the origin of their of their uh, antecedent need of a dome? Is no. the encyclopedia? No. no. Right. So then, that they're they're. Yeah. Pro- I don't think that's why they're, they're claiming it. it as proof of the dome, of the of the the big you know the dome firmament as they like to say sometimes. Well, that uh, encyclopedia entry that you just showed there. Um. It's different to the one I saw. The one I saw was had a little tiny, uh, I think it had a little tiny map or something. It wasn't just text like that. But I've never heard of um, flat top mountains being referred to as domes, I must say. It's not a flat top mountain. It's, ma- it's, ma- it's not a plateau. It's not a flat top mountain. It's a non pointy mountain. Yeah, I've definitely right. heard uh, uh, mountains referenced as, as dome yeah. mountains, yeah. Yeah, Flat Earth Banjo has uh, posted it as proof. Uh, David Weiss has posted it as proof. Uh, let's see, who's this? Some Flat Earther named Flat and Stationary posted it. Martin Lidke posted it. Uh, Good old Martin. Yeah. So, quite a few. Um, but if you were to look, I mean, you, you could look up in, in a dictionary of a similar year, you will, you'll find, uh, the word dome has a geological definition referring to, uh, uh, that type of, a feature. I have, I actually, somebody sent me a, um, picture of a, of a dictionary de- definition for dome. I don't know where I put it though. No, that's not it. Anyway, I'll tell you, you what. Go. Some someone just said uh, Emerson Biggins said the highest point in Tennessee is called Klingman's Dome. There you go. But you know what I did, uh, Jason and and other others that don't uh, that aren't brave enough to call themselves flat earthers but still go to sleep hugging a Gleason map pillow. Um, I issued a ten thousand dollar <laughs> challenge for uh, gravity, or the right. dumb word acceleration specifically, uh, to because uh, it's flat earthers and those. Well, that... if I can prove to you gravity exists, you're going to give me ten grand. No, I was about to explain the the challenge. <clears throat> so those those that reject gravity uh, have uh, several different. Uh, attempted explanations for it, but they t- they tend to just be like collections of of uh, you know phrases that don't have a whole lot behind them and don't have any empirical evidence. Um, so the challenge is um, to to actually do something and put a number behind it. You see, gravity, the Newton's law of gravitational attraction, puts numbers to it, and we can use that to predict the magnitude of the downward acceleration. It accurately predicts that the downward acceleration should be 9.8 meters per second squared. Not only that, the variation in the downward acceleration all over the Earth is also accurately predicted using um, the gravitational, the law of gravitation and centrifugal force. And we can get very close using just those two. Um, So you, you need the radius of the Earth, you need WGS84 ellipsoid. You need um, basically just, just a few of those things. You apply the formula and you get very close to the, uh, the predictions are very close to the the measured variation in the downward acceleration. So the challenge then is what is the uh, the mechanism and and what is the the way that, that was tested? Because certainly you wouldn't you wouldn't just believe something blindly, flat earthers. You, you would, no, you would but, want like, for to example, have... I don't think you're offering up ten grand, so I'd like to see it first before p- before you start dragging people into that. Yeah, anyway, yeah, we'll talk I about did. that later. I did because our, um, All right. our XO's here now, and we have kind of been waiting on him. So, oh, um, I'll, oh, I'll yeah. just say, I'll just say good, to him. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know how you say, you, you, you say he's saying he measured gravity and he's asking all the flat earthers. I mean, I'm not, uh, the earth isn't flat. That's, that's pretty provable, like, a, like a, a mountain, right? That dome mountain you were referring to earlier is definitely not flat. Yeah, no, nobody yeah, actually flat, thinks no. that when they say flat earther that we think that you think there's no such thing as mountains. We all know, and you know, when we say flat earther, we mean that you think that the water is flat of uh, as, as an entirety of the earth, <clears throat> right? Which Bev, is also Bev, a fallacy. Yeah, It's a complete fallacy. Well, you don't think water is flat? No, water is not earth. Earth is earth and water is water. So if flat earthers are saying that, they are confused and they are confused. There's no such thing as flat earth. Uh, okay, good. So you're a glober then. You think the earth is a globe? No, the earth is not an object. The earth is dry land coming out of the waters of creation. Okay, so, so so could you just describe it, describe it then geometrically, please? Well, thus saith the Lord, if the heavens above can be measured out or the foundations of the earth searched out beneath, I will cast off all my seed of Israel for what they have done. So that means no man can know any measurements of creation. Sounds like all. you can't know, but I can because I did it myself. I measured the radius of the earth. Did you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, well, that's your claim, man. Okay. Yeah. It's cool. All right, man. Uh, yeah. So, so it sounds like I mean, ig ignorance is is fine. If if you don't know anything, then then whatever. Fine. Where did you Where did you first hear about this um this uh, globe religion that you Westerners believe? When did you first uh, learn about it? It has no bearing on the fact that I measured that the Earth is a sphere. So. When did you? Oh, you don't you don't want to talk about it? Oh, okay. Yeah, I get I get what Not you're a, trying to do. Soft topic. I do. Yeah. So here, I'll I'll go over how I personally measured that the Earth is a sphere. Yeah. You well, why do you? But why did you believe it before you measured it? Doesn't matter. I personally confirmed it myself. One hundred percent. Well, I'm just trying to figure out why people believe it. I'm just trying. Matter. Why did you believe it? That's what I'm asking. The well, that's reason why, that's why, all I'm asking. Yeah. yeah. The reason why I think that the Earth is a sphere is because I personally uh -huh. tested it. I personally okay. confirmed that the Earth is a sphere, and I personally measured sure. the radius of it four times. Mm, okay. So wow, I, that's I'm wow. certain of it. That's amazing. It it it's not actually that complicated. Hey, that's a big deal, bro. I mean, you must have some money. It has no money's needed. Dude, you, I mean, come on, you got to be balling to be able to measure something like that, dude. <laughs> so, I guess you outfund me. I got to fly Southwest Airlines uh, in to Phoenix to Seattle every other year, so I don't know what it's like to have that type of money. I I looked at two thousand, you know, a couple thousand square miles, but uh, yeah, it's hard. I don't think so it would hard to to grasp the size of an. I, well, it, yeah, I don't think Earth. Uh, the problem is Earth is not an object. You sure, can't really yeah. measure. It, bro. So you say. You. That's a claim. <laughs> That's a claim. But well, it's, I'm removing a claim. You're claiming it's a it's an object. I'm yeah. saying no. Earth I, is dry land climbing out of water. <laughs> I will I will happily explain to you how I personally measured the radius of the Earth and confirmed that it is a sphere. All right, you just okay. Have to well, let, you'll will, have to let I'm me interested. talk though. I'm kind of you'll have okay, Mick. How about do you let me just okay? I will let you talk though. But before you do, do you also believe in the theory of evolution? Uh, I'm not. I'm not very strong in evolution. Don't really care a ton either way. But so, you believe it, right? But you do. But, well, you don't really care, really. You don't really care if they're lying to millions of children in school? Wow. Right. Okay. All right. I see that wow. you, you you are attempting to deflect Whoa. from the yeah, evidence we're talking that I'm about, about to give that well, destroys yeah, I'm talking about, Yeah, we're talking about the whole thing. Yeah, I'm not a, oh, yeah, I agree. You're flat scared earth, that Flat Earth is going to be destroyed. I agree. Flat Earth is destroyed. Flat Earth is a psyop. There's no such thing as Flat Earth. Thank you for destroying it. I already told you that right. at the beginning, McTee. Tell you what. I'll, I'll, I'll yes, say, Flat I'll, Earth is I'll, done. Yeah, Thanks. I'll rephrase. I personally confirmed no thing that flat the earth. earth is a sphere. All right. No, sorry. Seems, oh, I'm sorry, you bro. It's okay. Scared. Are you an evolution? But you, be, you believe in evolution. To you think you're an topic. animal, right, McToon? It sounds Mick like Toon, you're scared to address the topic. McToon, did you did you see some writing on some pieces of paper, and that's how you are, measured it are last time? Are you scared time? that to let me talk? Well, bro, if you want to play the video, play the. I'll show you my my channel is blood always finds its level yeah, because no, it's about the blood of Jesus Christ. Sure, sure. And there's this is no, revelation, and I have evidence. There, so I have actually evidence on my channel. Yeah, is so there a reason yours. why you you said that you would let me talk, and now you won't let me talk? Yeah, go ahead. I know you're not going to show anything at all. I'll bet my truck on it.
Yeah, y'all have no videos of any evidence at all. Go ahead. I, I don't need a video of it. Exactly. Nothing. Yeah, you have cartoons, and I, I said this, and it's, I believe this, and you won't even tell us where you got your information from, and you don't even tell us why you believed it in the first place, so you don't even have a claim, McToon. Now, <laughs> you keep refusing to even let me talk. Is that because you're scared? No, I'm just proving that you don't have a claim. You're scared of your own right. claim. That's my so point. Right here, I already proved right. my point. Just I, like I told I Jason and, and Dovid before this, I, I promised everybody you Is wouldn't be able to tell you. Won't let me talk. Yes, I why won't you let me talk? Is there a reason why you won't let me talk? You You're not letting me talk. You keep originally. constantly talking over me when I'm trying my to explain prophecy it. Prophecy in front of I am trying to explain it, and you won't let me talk. Why won't you let me talk? You got your information. You refuse to allow me to talk. Never. Why? Why won't you let me talk? Why will you not let me talk? You will not let me talk because you're scared of the evidence. The evidence will destroy your stupid belief about blood being level. Why won't you let me talk? Jason, are you going to let this guy talk over me constantly? Or are you going to actually moderate like you should? You're desperately, insanely, psychotically hiding. All right. Jason. I cannot, cannot I'm sure. do anything. No, sure. I will sure not speak to him. He is too much of a complete asshole. He He's scared to let me talk. So, Jason, that's fine. If you want to have him in here and you refuse to moderate, then it will not happen. It's, <laughs> it's clear. <laughs> it's yeah, I'm clear that he's scared. Yeah. <laughs> Jason, you need to step in. And moderate. I'm safe. Don't shut the fuck up. You're going to be flushed out of it. Okay. You want me to stop Ed talking? Show. Are you going to fucking Ed mute show. him, Jason? Joe, oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> mute him. You're a mod. I can't mute anybody because I asked for my fucking perms to be removed because I'm sick of it. <laughs> All right. He's out. He ran I, away. Did think, I did think somebody would have had the sense to give me back before this. So, McTune. Don't talk to me like that again, because I was trying to deal with that, and now I'm going to have to deal with kicking him out, because that's the only thing I could do, right? Wow, well, sounds like a good decision. But I'm sorry, I thought that you had privileges to do that, so sorry about that. Oh, I did, but I asked him to be removed, because it makes life a lot easier. But I did think I'd have had him automatically given back to me, for considering I was doing this. <laughs> yeah. But obviously not. So, right, okay. So, I'm going to go, oh, no, 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 XO's gone. Right, okay. So that's going to be I don't me, think anybody's going to be too sad. <laughs> um, I, I'd be glad to show the evidence that I was, uh, you know, no, no, he's good. He's good. Do. He's good. Yeah, please be quiet. XO, I had no option but to kick you out then because I can't actually mute anybody. No, that's fine. That's fine. I'm glad you yeah. did. But yeah, I just want to point out that some pervert retard claimed that I left. That's what a normal antichrist Satan. It's not even McToon anymore. McToon, no, God bless me. Thank you. No, some right, some satanic retard pervert retard lying son of a bitch. This is what these flat these flat earthers are the largest group of antichrists I've ever seen in my life. McToon, trust me, you're right. Flat Earth, Danny, you're right. Flat Earth is a deception. The you guys ever heard of suicide slander? Yeah, that the entire the cult the is slandering Christians, and now you have one of the one of the perverted criminals who said last time that it's okay to do it. You can actually this pervert right here, bro. Yeah, this who, sycophant who psychopath who's an yeah, this guy dogs are gods. This sycophant psychopath right there. Yeah, that guy. Watch your children, please. Hide your dog and your goat. There are criminals. On the internet, and that's what I'm here to talk about. That, there are criminals yeah, on the internet. Still here. It's he absolutely disgusting. You kick should literally. Most of you people should be in jail. For you have to kick him out. Can this guy get muted already? All right. You have to kick him out, Jason. There you go. Thank you, Jason. Yeah, he he's got to be banned for that. J Jason, if you want this server to remain, you have to not yeah. let people like that on. Well, here. I tell you what, guys, guys. What were you saying, Jason? Do we have to listen to this rant again? Sorry. Thank you. Right. 
that wouldn't have happened if I'd have realised at the beginning I didn't have any perms. <laughs> well, I knew I hadn't because I'd asked for them to be removed, but I did think I'd have kind of got them back at the beginning of that. Yeah. Uh, right, OK, sorry, guys. So where were we? <laughs> oh, yeah, I was actually going to try and break the ice a little. Um, he said that, and then you told me to kick him with his snow, but you are named after a date rape drug, so just putting that out there. Who is? Yeah. Rehifnal. Rehifnal. Oh, yeah. yes. Um, okay. I'll send yeah. you to Rehifnal just to be... Uh, so, yeah. so J Jason, let me... I mean, this isn't your server. This is Dovid's server. But, you know, that kind of talk that he was doing is, is what Discord won't allow. Yeah, I'm right? fully aware of that. Yeah. So... But like I said, if I if I realised that uh, my perms weren't back at the beginning, I, I'd, have, I'd have made certain at the beginning. But, I'd just assume they look, were. But look, Dovid, Dovid's sitting here. Dovid, you're still here. Uh, maybe he's not at the keyboard, but I don't. I don't know. It's not a big deal. I don't think. I suppose. I mean, you're, <clears> dude, the this, the Tartaria server gets rebooted about every other week. Not I think it was. Business. I think it was fun to listen to. You know, and if they're gonna start, if, if they're gonna start moderating, like what ha what happens in the voice channels, then like it's not even worth using this platform at that point. But so far, they don't really do that, so that's not really a worry. Okay. You see, I'm gonna speak for both of us, Dovey, briefly. Yeah, I think we've got a different philosophy to you, like, right? Because uh, we don't, we're not doing this for anything other than just doing it. If they kick us out, we'll go somewhere else and do it. <laughs> Simple as that. You know, all right. Um, obviously, I'd like not to get kicked out, but it's always somewhere else to go. Now, really, if you think about it. I suppose I suppose you make a point if you don't care. It's not I don't care. It's the fact that I don't worry. Right. You know, it's not that you don't care. You just don't care. Now, so it's if not... I can, if I can have a response to to that, um, he he talks about you know, his faith and his religion and the Bible and stuff like that. And obviously that guy is exceedingly toxic. So please, people, don't look at him at uh, at uh, blood is always level um, as an example of a Christian. He is quite a horrendous person and uh, Christians should not be like that. Okay. I'm going to agree with the Christian remark at the end of that sentence, but, you know, uh, Let's keep our personal feelings out of it, shall we? Because otherwise, people will be kicking off, won't they? Yep. You'll have a riot on your hands, not Uh I'm, I'm the Discord server. Well, a virtual riot, what, you know. Whatever. What I mean. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, Patrick Butler, who's that's Pat Man that I was talking about earlier. He's wondering why. Uh, why are we not talking about water mountains? He he says that that the bottom up obstruction across water is caused by water mountains. Say that again. Water mountains. Yeah, he says that that's what makes things uh, disappear bottom up over water. You can call it whatever you want, like a big hump of water gets in the way. Is that? Yeah, he says say? there's there's water mountains, so and they move around or something, I guess. Wouldn't those be water domes? Yes. Water domes. Nailed it. <laughs> well, I mean, that would be your only explanation, I guess, right? On a, on a sphere, right? Where the water's flat, uh, perfectly level. No, he's, he's a flat earther. He's talking about to... flat earth. Because, oh. you know, we, we ask a lot of the time, why is why are things obstructed bottom up and so patrick's answer is that there's water mountains that move around under a big water. wave or a swell yeah maybe well but they they kind of stay still though they just hang out there blocking your view of things i don't know i i don't think i'm 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 with him on that but uh that's what he talks about but then he asks oh is he jason Patrick Butler again asks, does spectroscopy need a container? Uh, well, I think what? I, 
he just he's just wondering does spectroscopy require a container i don't understand that question okay i thought spectroscopy can't even say the word at the moment i thought that was measuring um isn't that been able to tell the composition of things from the light of them or yeah. something like that yes does it need a container yeah Um, that's, that's I question. still don't understand the question. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess to, to work. I guess some people have suggested that spectroscopy needs a container, um, which is what I find, I find kind of funny. But uh, anyway, <laughs> absorption spectra can be produced without a container. <laughs> I have a feeling. That it's a it's a callback to uh, to a certain Mr. Weiss. Uh, what David David was? That's the one. That's the one. He said that spectroscopy needs a container. Yeah, but he's also a raging Freemason. So he's a Freemason. Oh yes. How do you know? Because me and God rock him, saw him getting ignored. Uh, sworn into his lodge. Ooh. He was on a. He was on the. He was on the YouTube once. There was David Weiss and some other guy who wasn't anything to do with flat earth. I don't think. Both of them were getting sworn into. I think it was the knights, knights of Malta or something like that. Order of the knights or something. Yeah. Um. Now, if so, if I was going to have some masonry work done yeah. i would probably not want the free ones because i gotta imagine being free the quality is going to be crap mm. right i mean i i might want a you know reasonably priced mason but the free ones you just got you just you just know yeah. it's going to be shoddy workmanship well the thing is you're talking about paying for it aren't you masons call it free masonry because they stole it in the first place so yeah, you wouldn't you wouldn't get a crap you wouldn't like a crap job done if you were uh, building something, but the masons didn't build these old buildings anyway, did they? They just stole them off people. That's why they call them Freemasons. They they stole the buildings. They like pick it up mm -hmm. in the middle of the night and move it. Sometimes they did, yeah. Yeah, that's a like like yeah. a big old. Church. Yeah, actually did. Yeah, they, there's records uh, showing them moving buildings. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I I couldn't believe that at first when I heard that, but it's true. In the middle of the night when nobody's looking, David Blaine comes in, holds up a sheet, and all the townspeople are like, where'd it go? Luckily, I understand sarcasm, because otherwise I'd be thinking, this guy sounded quite intelligent until two sentences ago. It's standard, it's bog standard engineering. It takes a lot of people, and I've got to say, when I heard it, I thought, nah. But I looked into it, and it does appear to be correct. There's a couple of instances where literally they move buildings. Uh, sometimes they didn't move them from the spot they were on. They rotated them 180 degrees to face like where they just built n newer roads and stuff. Oh. Sometimes they just literally crossed them to the other side of the road and turned around because they needed the space to put something else there. Hey, when when a new freeway comes through, they just demolish everything nowadays. Yep. Well, yeah, I'm. I'm yeah, I know, but I did look into it, and this appears to be right. I mean, you've got to ask yourself, these things are supposed to be built on foundations, aren't they? You'd think you wouldn't be able to just get, like, uh, jacks underneath and jack them up, but that's a, that's what it looks like they're doing. I don't know. If, if if you're smart enough to build it the first time, maybe you're smart enough to figure out how to move it. Yeah, but that's the whole thing. Isn't it? They didn't build them the first time. Is, is uh, let's see, show me tides with flat water. Is that... Is that? Oh, that's that's not. That's not Demock. He says, "Show me a bucket of thirty-three tilt in a lab. One front view, one side view. HD video, no cartoon, no drawing, no CGI, but video. Can you do that tilt, boy? That's so Demock. Hello, Demock. If it's you, that's not him." <laughs> that's so funny. 
Um, RT96 uh, said from looked up the British Encyclopedia from 1933. Um, may or may not be true. It says our Antarctic Circle explorers have been baffled at points by which seems an insurmountable ice barrier. That's the one I'm talking about before. Yeah, I yeah. said it was different. What year was that again? 1933. Freemasonry confirmed. Jason, do you know how many kids I have? Uh, I haven't got a clue, mate. 33. 17 boys and 17 girls. It was 11 sets of triplets. Amazing. I'm just going to point out to you that it's 3 a.m. in the morning here, and I'm I... incredibly stoned. <laughs> so if you're expecting me to do mental arithmetic, that's No, quickly. there's no... So yeah, you I... fucked up the math anyways. Yeah. Who's crap at math? Michael, he can't add 17 and 17. That's what I thought, but I didn't want to say the obvious because otherwise I thought I was getting a loaded <laughs> question then. It's part of the joke. Uh, I mean, totally real. So, 33 kids, right? Yeah. With one person. And one penguin. Yeah, a penguin. And a turtle and a raccoon. You should yeah. start start a zoo. It was a it was a challenging eight years, but totally worth it. Right. So, so um, why so many children? Then? What? Well, I mean, why sh- when when Neil deGrasse Tyson says you need to have thirty three kids, you're like, okay, that's what I'm doing. I think everybody here could agree that Neil deGrasse Tyson is not a real person. Uh, I think everybody here he's might not fake. agree with that. I think he's well, actually he's, yeah, he's not. He's not the person who uh, they portray in, in in the media. Then. So, all right, Th- this he's is this guy. is funny. Northern Rebellion, um, Northern Rebellion posted a meme there. That says our tide our tides higher when the moon is directly overhead. High tides do not coincide with the location of the moon. But I don't think that Northern Rebellion read the rest of the 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 meme that he posted. He's gonna have to probably adjust the crop on it because it says on the bottom. Then this NASA image from Apollo eight mission shows the Earth viewed from the horizon of the moon while the sun and while the moon and sun cause tides on our planet. The gravitational pull of these celestial bodies does not dictate when high or low tides occur. You see, Northern Rebellion, you're going to have to read your citation because all you did was confirm the first law of FLIRF. The FLIRF citation... Well, it's saying both things, and how would you... Is, is there a contradiction there at all? To, the, or? the FLIRF citation always contradicts the FLIRF claim. So it's, the, it's I mean, it's saying... I'm re, I mean, I'm just reading it for the first time now. It's saying that, that the sun and moon cause the tides, but the tides are not dictated by uh, the, the sun the, and moon. So the saying both time, things. it's when. It, it says the tides are caused by the sun and the moon. It's not the when. The when is in question. And it says high tides okay, do not answer? coincide. Coincide. It does not. That's a time-based thing again with the location of the moon. All right, so, so are you going to make it make sense or? Just leg reaction. I, I, I was I was just reading the text on his citation and pointing out that the text on his citation contradicts him. Yeah, I mean it's just it, this, the text just contradicts itself. It's from NASA, but but yeah, I mean I was it reading doesn't this, con- I was but reading it doesn't story. contradict I don't know itself. It, was it does not Sounds contradict like it itself. Like... Not at all. Well, I'll read it again. Huh? I'll read it again. The gravitational pull of these celestial bodies does not dictate when high or low tides occur. Yeah, right. So, I mean, if it, so if they were the cause, it would, it would have a, a, a when associated. So if there's no when associated with, with, with that, then it's not the cause. Yeah. Uh, it, but it is the cause because it says, while the moon and sun cause tides on our planet, comma, the gravitational pull of these celestial bodies does not dictate when higher low tides occur. It's not 
it's not as simplistic as as uh, I think some people want it to seem to be. Yeah, like if they are the re if they're the reason there's hot, you know there should be so no matter what their position is, no matter the new uh, uh, you know whatever you want to formulate. Hey, when this is uh, you know lined up on that side, it's still going to have a when associated with it. Yeah, that's the reason it's, that it's happening. It's the yeah. it's it's the where it's the location that matters. It's the location in relation to the earth and the tides. They don't coincide. The location coincides. It, yes, the location okay. does. There's a correlation, but not it doesn't coincide. As you're saying, like, no, I, I read the story. I'm, I'm not sure if it was that I'm, I'm directly like, saying, I'm, uh, I'm directly saying that the location of the sun and moon are what dictate the when of the high and low tides. So it does dictate the when now. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if this thing was satire or not. Maybe. Uh, it, it's right, but, not but satire. I read this. I read this article. No, not this one. But I read another article that during the last uh, solar eclipse, when the moon uh, eclipses the uh, the sun, right? You, you know, so so you so now you got the 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 moon right there in front of the sun. Uh, uh, I think it was in like Australia or something that a bunch of kids drowned because it pulled the water because you, know, you got the moon and the sun both lined up on the same exact side. Uh, like double the gravity, right? And pull that the tide up so all quickly the around the kids. It, it, it's, yeah, high. There's neap tides and spring tides. That happens. Which regularly. one was that one? Like the, the eclipse tide. What was that one? It would it would be when the high tide when it was a higher high tide than than the, the average tide. So we definitely, when we have a solar eclipse, we definitely where you know. Uh, that's court, you know, where you can line it right up. We got a real high tide in that spot every time. Yeah. Okay. Just checking. All right. All right. I, used to, I used to check the tide times every week because I spent a year going fossil in, in a, in a, a place in England, and uh, my mate used to drive. And, and I could never, I could never see uh, any sort of pattern to the tides. You know, like we'd always get there about the same time in the morning. But like we had the time, the tide tables, tables, but you, they didn't seem to follow any pattern at all. We went there every every week for a year. Now the one of one time that whole year we got there, right, and the sea had gone. It had right. gone that far out that you couldn't see it, and it only happened once that entire year. So. So, so for for reference, uh, high tide is is about twelve hours from peak to peak, not quite, and low tide is about twelve hours from peak to peak, and they do coincide with where the moon is in relation to to the Earth, and they are higher when the Earth, Moon, Sun are in alignment, and lower when they are at right degrees, right angles with each other. There, that's the pattern. People have identified the pattern for many. Uh, centuries. So, there you go. Judy, you got this, is wondering the name of this Discord server. It's called Discord Pirate Radio. Why Why is there no Tartaria in the name this time? Tartaria is so last year. We're ahead of the curve. All right. Are you is that is that a po is that a you know a jab at Jared because he's behind the curve? Mm, don't know. I've never heard of Jaron. You've never heard of Jaron? Just like I'll refer to what I said earlier about David Weiss. <laughs> Jaron's in that same you, same group. Oh, so you have I'm heard of Jaron? Yeah, because even I, though you just said you didn't know who Jaron was, I, I was being sarcastic. Uh, have Have you seen Jaron become a Freemason like you saw Weiss? No, but I have heard him lie about several things through the years. Okay, like what? In my opinion, like uh, what? Well, what well, you want a solid example? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, I did try and look into this some more, but it's very hard to find. Years ago, right, literally when I first discovered you lot on air, I was watching Jaron, and there was a um, there was a bit of NASA footage there where you see uh, a satellite being launched out of the back of the shuttle. Right, it was kind of looking through the back windows of the cargo, so you could see across the cargo bay towards the tail, 
and uh, the satellite's coming up and it's spinning. And then Jaron points out that um, there's a frogman in, 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 the, in the water. And you can't see it at first, because it's black, obviously. But when he points it out, you could kind of see what he was getting at. It was like you could see the flipper, and it did look like a frogman, honestly, it did. In, now, in the reflection of the window, right? No, 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 no. You've got the right bit of footage, but nowadays they say there's a face in the window and there's no, absolutely no mention of the frogman that Jerome was going on about beforehand. <laughs> now it's like they've changed that bit of footage so, so it looks like somebody's face in the reflection. Um, so, yeah, it's, oh, off okay. the top of my head, that's the only example I can come with. But, uh, yeah, he's always giving me weird vibes there. Ooh. Here's a, here's a from Patman Patrick Butler again comes so this is I think to uh, to XO says so no measurements of flat or God Earth does that mean I get your truck Patrick Patrick <laughs> wants uh, his truck I guess <laughs> that's funny um. So, all right. Um, so, what actually, what I remember, Matun, uh, if you don't mind asking, how many uh, people have you got on your YouTube? Uh, there's 360 watching right now. Cool. I'm, I'm just, just checking. You did throw a link up there for our uh, YouTube channel, didn't you? Yeah, it's in the description. Cool. Thanks, man. So, yeah, the uh, pirate Discord Pirate Radio. Is the yeah. Uh, yeah that's in there? Do you know why? Do you know why we call pirates now? Uh, why we call pirates? No, why we are called pirates? Um, I don't know. I, I mean, nay, I know not. Because we are. Oh my gosh! No, it's a reference to. Uh, Radio Caroline, which I... was uh, the first pirate radio station in the 60s in the North Sea. Oh, all right. Well... And, the, and the English government tried to, well, they sank the ship and left everybody to drown. But uh, luckily they got rescued. Well, that's good. Um, yeah. Shifty Eye. I want to know if there's ever been an ex-flat earther. Or if once they go flat earth, they never go back. Does anybody know of any ex flat earthers? Yes, there's Ranty, there's Seek Truth, Speak Truth, there's Jose JG Gonzalez, there's Sean G. There's a few. Uh, Matt Klein says that the uh, it says the Discord channel is locked for your for your Discord. I don't know. Discord channel. Uh, yeah, Matt Klein says, it says the Discord channel is locked to the the link that I put in the um, the description as well. So I generated a link for your server. So, and I can, okay. I can generate a new one and drop it in chat and see if that helps. Uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, it's too... The, the link should lead to the server and not to the VC because we, like like permission to join the voice channel is given selectively so we don't have people coming in here saying like the n-word on stream because that's happened before I think that was actually when you were in here one time that it when it, it was did. when that actually happened it did naughty naughty people shame on yeah, you so fool, fool, fool me once so yeah. yeah we have a little bit of a policy but yeah, just say in text if you like want to come say something. I mean, generally that's good enough. So, all right. Uh, show me tides with flat water. Is <laughs> I love that. Uh, that is uh, that's Ed Freeze. You can't hide from me, Ed Freeze. I'm not hiding. <laughs> just your name. It's gone now. Oh no, it's still there. All right. Are you are you uh, channeling, um, uh, Demok? Sometimes yes. 
he uh, lost this question. It got him really uh, activated, you know. His, his question got activated. All right. Yeah, ask him to show uh, tides with flat water, and you know what I mean. I see. I, I got it. Okay. Well, I don't know. J Jason, I mean, it was it was a little fiery when XO was here, but I mean, he, he's he's quite a horrible person. I mean, I, I, uh, your community is kind of, you know, not too big. And, and for some reason, it, it collects a large percentage of awful people. So I don't envy you for that. Well, these aren't ex exactly regulars, <laughs> to be honest. Well, I mean, they're, they're part of the community of people that reject the Earth being a globe. Yeah, I like the regulars like Demok. J Jason, we're getting a lot of weird background noise from your mic. You can't be. I've, I've moved. Might be somebody else, but no, I'm pretty. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's you. Well, what does he say? Like? Right. Hard to say. So how how about this? I can I can do I can do what EXO uh, did not want me to do, and I can show you how I. Uh, Personally, measured the radius of the Earth and falsified the glow, uh, falsified flat Earth. So it it wasn't all that expensive. Um, that was a Freudian slip of a word. Yeah, if you, if you insist. Um, so there, there's the setup. I just posted it in there. It was a, a rather cheap tripod that I had, and I have two levels on it so that I had it plumb. And you can see the chalk. Most the tolerance of your levels. What's that? What was the tolerance on your levels? Uh, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. It's not a high tolerant uh, level there. So yeah, I, you, you, it certainly could be a, a degree out. So it would, it would add a, a bit to the margin of error. So and I and I uh, drew that chalk line on the ground, and then when the the shadow was at its sh uh, shortest, I drew another chalk line. And I'll show you the the uh, the measurement of the chalk line, and and this this is more um more of an issue than the the tolerance on the levels because the chalk line was the thickness of chalk. It's it's more than a centimeter wide. So which edge of the uh, of the chalk line center or one of the edges should I use? Well, I used the center and then I used the width of it to build a margin of error. It's really a lot of background noise. It's really like interfering, I think. <laughs> it is Jason. Jason, it's you. You got to understand how I'm sitting here with my headphones on and I haven't moved since the whole time I've been talking to you. We can check out the stream to like hear it for yourself, but like, yeah, like in terms of how loud it is, it's like competing with other people in my talks. Well, so I figure... well, what can you hear, man? There's no background noise. I'm sitting here in complete silence. Just check it out for yourself. I know it's like breathing like, and like fan, static fan or, noise something. or something. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, so, so there's, there's how I measured it. Um, and then I, I did it at the, on the same day, as two other people. So it was it was multiple locations. So what we we used is uh, this was done on December twenty second, twenty nineteen, and we know that the sun was over the Tropic of Capricorn at the time, and we also know that there's sixty. Uh, nautical miles per degree latitude so that's how we know how far away we i was at the moment of the uh the um local solar noon how far away i was from the gp of the sun because it, it's over the tropic of capricorn we know that it's it's a pretty well-known thing i've rarely found anybody rejecting that and uh i i, I love it when they do because it's hilarious Anyway, so that gives us if we look at the if you look at that little clip from the spreadsheet there, mine is the middle um 
measurement there and it's in metric where the the top one was in feet and inches i think or feet it was just feet anyway the angle to to the sun was 22.5 degrees for me and the co the co angle is 67.5 degrees the distance to the tropic of capricorn for me is 7600 19 and the sun elevation for flat earth is 3162 for me kilometers right um and then somebody else that was and i was at 45 degrees 0.02 now somebody else was at 45 degrees 0.57 so about a half a half a degree latitude north of me and that person got a sun elevation of 3047 kilometers then somebody else a friend of mine was in israel he his latitude is 31.35 degrees and his his uh, sun angle elevation was 4468 kilometers so the problem is that we have multiple different elevations for the height of the sun you can you can do this at simple um solving of a triangle to get the elevation of the sun for flat earth or earth not globe earth and they they don't agree with each other but if you use the eratosthenes uh method you we uh we get uh, the the final column column j says radius of the earth we apply that to trigonometry we get 6437 6471 6400 98 kilometers radius they're in close agreement with each other and if we look at the final analysis the error analysis there's the the screenshot there if you want to look at that um we get a variation for flat earth of 1305 kilometers variation and a uh, percentage difference of 29 percent error huge amount of error and using the globe we get a uh, a variation of all of 27 kilometers which is 0.4 percent variation very very close now what i have never found is anybody that has uh, refuted this by actually finding any error in in the geometry or in the methodology so uh, so far, this is an unchallenged, untouched, never been refuted measurement of the radius of the Earth and a falsification of flat Earth. And I'm guessing they won't be the ones to provide any refutation today. Um, for Are reference, you, talk, you talking to anybody, McTurn? I was just, I was giving the presentation that Jason was scared to have me give. Not Jason, sorry, XO. Uh, there is the Google Docs spreadsheet, so anybody can have a look at the uh, the data, look at the formulas, look at the okay. application. Yeah, so what? What's your, what's your position then? The sun is close and local? Uh, I tested if the sun was close and local. And falsified yes. it because because the the when I did a basic trigonometry to find out the elevation of the sun, I mm. got different answers based on location. It got no agreement. Yes. Yeah. Okay. But when I but when I made uh, the hypothesis that the the sun is very far away, and that the Earth is a sphere, I got very close agreement in the measurements, uh, just 04 percent variation. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So yeah. what? We just so have what, to find what, What's your cares. average distance then, based on your findings? What was that? What's your average distance, sun from the flat plane? Uh, the average? It's all over the place. That's the problem. You get between, uh, in this particular one. We got uh, a low elevation of 3,047 kilometers and a high elevation of 4,468 kilometers on the same day. So, of, of, so uh, are you saying 3,400? 
not 30, not 3,047 3, to right. 4,468. Yeah, a variation of so huge. But NASA's, NASA's still claiming it's 3,300. This says, no, NASA doesn't make any claims about the Earth being flat. This is the elevation of the sun over flat Earth. So NASA okay. wasn't involved. It's just myself and some friends in different locations on the Earth testing the hypothesis mm -hmm. for flat Earth and finding that it uh, didn't work. And we well, falsified all flat you've Earth. proven is that there's variation of height, due to distance, and location. That's all you've proved. You haven't proved the exact result. We, yeah, I we falsified. I falsified that the Earth could be flat. Yeah. No, you, 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 all you've shown is that there's different locations for the sun on the Earth. Simultaneously, the sun is in different locations? Yeah, you, I'm just saying, yeah, that's all you've proved. If you go here, the sun is looks like it's there, and it's there. Yeah, so... It's so nothing. So Absolutely you, nothing at all. So you think it's a reasonable uh, position to think that the, the sun uh, is in multiple different elevations simultaneously? You think that's reasonable? Yeah, because, yeah, as you said, you you said you're on different latitude and longitude locations, yeah. Yeah, this this at, is just at about the same latitude. time you're you're trying to take yeah. measure you're trying to take measurements from different distances. So those distances, only a thousand kilometers, could correlate to how far away from the close and local sun you are. That's all you've you've actually proven the case for flat Earth. You just don't realize. No, not at all. And, you, and, Not one and your variable is only a thousand kilometers. So that tells me, yeah, you're a thousand kilometers away from this guy in Europe to you, Israel. You're a thousand kilometers away from the sun. Oh, well, there you, <laughs> you go. You don't understand, bro. Well, that, that's Over. not at all what I was doing. Yes, you actually don't realize you were doing it. No, that's not at all what I was doing. You don't understand what I was doing. That's okay. Yes. But maybe it didn't explain yes, I do. it well you enough. You don't realize what you were doing because you were trying to dis display the information in such a way that you know that the sun must be the same distance from all over from all over the flat plane well it, obviously it's not going to be elevation not distance elevation above the flat plane not distance from the observer elevation above flat yeah. plane yeah because the the observers in different locations so of course you know different distances there's so, no logic to it so each so you're it's actually claiming, dumb shit actually you're claiming no, you're right. tune. i think i think you have to explain it all again but very very slowly i i i see that no, no, no. I, I know what he said and i know i'm right no, no what you're saying is that multiple people would measure a different height of a mountain because of where they are yeah that's, no, that's I'm what saying, he's claiming that's exactly what you're saying you yeah, actually totally. said that this person was in this location that person was in that location and they got different uh, heights of the sun yeah, yeah. that's obvious Yes, well, so that's not obvious. If you're, if you're looking at something, if you're looking at the sun at the equator from Australia, and then you look at it from, I don't know, Africa. Yes, it's going to be a different distance away from you, giving the the I, angle. But that's you're, not what I was measuring. The impression that it's elevation. But I was measuring the elevation, not, not the distance away from the person. You, yeah, given the, given the impression that it's distance, was actually elevation you're looking at. So I, you I just always was talking argument. about elevation. Destroyed. I never talked about distance. You get totally destroyed by a dumbass like me with a grade school education. I do agree with the right, dumbass part great. completely, but you didn't understand the, the, the geometry that I was doing. Okay, present it again. I'll destroy it again. It, it, <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll get a picture. I'll get a different picture so that you can see the actual uh, geometry picture. But do do uh, continue for a second while I, I pull it up quick. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I... um, let's see. Where did I put it? Oh, I know where I put it. I have. Uh, I have to find. There's a there's a lot. I have a lot of folders. So let's see. Oh, there it is. There it is. Um. Mm -mm. Uh, if you give me a second, still. Oh, that one there. Yeah. I did. Oh, there. Okay. Got it. So here is, here's the, on the December solstice, here is the measurements that I personally 
measured for the height of the sun. Here it comes. There you go. So, um, the height meaning elevation above the horizon. Yeah, elevation above. Yeah. So, so where I was to the GP of the sun is a known distance of 4,070, 4,723 miles. So, sorry, I'm, sw I'm switching to freedom units here. Um, <clears throat> and the, the reason why that's known is because it's well known that there are 60 nautical miles per degree latitude. Um, celestial navigation completely relies on this being the case. So, um, good luck showing that to be incorrect. Um, so I, I know that distance and, and I measured the angle to be 22.5. That forms a triangle. I solve the triangle. I get 1,951 miles elevation for the sun. That's how I measured it. Now, the sun, no matter where you are on flat earth, the sun must give you the same elevation at, at, on the same, at the same time, on the same day, unless it really yeah. varies a whole bunch, or you want to make some kind of wild claim about the sun moving all over the place. Okay. So how, okay. So if you're saying it's the same elevation, how are you going to get that result unless you're standing directly underneath it? You actually can't get the elevation that like using this method, if you're directly underneath it. You have to be some distance away this, from it to do the triangulation. I'm not sure what you're what you're arguing for here. I'm showing you that I I hypothesized that the Earth was flat, and then I mm. measured the elevation of the sun over flat Earth. That it, the the elevation that it must be from Minneapolis on the December solstice. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. So it must be one thousand nine hundred fifty six miles in elevation. The problem is that somebody else in a different location on the same day used the same technique and got a different elevation for the sun. Right? That's not possible for the sun to, to occupy multiple locations simultaneously. And like so I said... Well, all, all you so actually, it doesn't prove anything. It just proves that you get a different viewing distance from a different location. It's not the distance. It's well, the elevation. Wow, what can you do? It's a different yeah, elevation. But if, you, if you move, okay, if you move away from an elevation, you get a longer distance. It has. It's oh not about the distance. God. It's not about the distance. You keep saying distance. It's not yeah. about the distance from the observer to the sun. It's about the elevation of the sun over flat Earth. Yeah, but if if you're assuming that it's above Minneapolis and you move down to Mexico to Mexican border, the border, sun I did not assume was over going Minneapolis. You're further away from your elevation. I made no assumption that the sun was Based over on Minneapolis. That assumption alone. Why would I assume that the sun was over Minneapolis? It's never been over. I just Minneapolis. Give, that was my example. Okay, I'm not making any assumptions about where the sun is. Where the sun is yeah, is no, known. This, this is just this is just. Going food to control low IQ people. It's, I'm yeah, I, it. flat earthers who don't understand geometry are definitely low IQ. That's why it baffles them yeah, every I, time. You, this is no, this but, is uh, literally saying, you're, you're elementary to. school yeah. geometry, and you're not getting it. Yeah, but you're you're, you're trying to apply a set rhythm of of understanding a to something rhythm. that's still, still a phenomenon. What do you mean a phenomenon? So it, we we. What, what phenomenon? Trigonometry requires a container. You don't, you don't think that trigonometry works? Did he, did he leave? No, he muted himself. Oh. All right. But let, I've, I've presented this multiple times and never once has anybody ever done anything other than either say, uh, -uh or, um, change the topic. Yeah, I am. I'm just trying it. Yeah. Because it's an absolute assumption and you're applying what am two I assuming? dimensional. What am I assuming? You're applying two dimensional maths. We draw on a piece of paper to a phenomenon and, and a 3d event in the sky. 
Oh so there's God. no logic to this, dude. It doesn't it, have any it's way. It's actually no logic really it. simple. It's, it's embarrassing it has... that you're trying to feed feed the goyim this type of level of stupidity and deception. What What is the assumption that I'm making? You're, the assumption that you're, you're using 2D maths to try to calculate something like okay, this. Okay, and can you point you know, out you the error? Of the math that I did, and show them the correct way to do it. It's it. one big error. Just show, just show me the specific error that I made, so, and then and then show the correct. As way I to try apply. to point out, okay. You, I mean, if you don't know, then just say you, it. Just, just don't answer the question if you don't know the answer. No, to you. I said it three times already. I said you're trying to use the elevation from different locations, which yeah. pr which pushes different distances. If you're to assume that it's flat. Straight away, that tells me you're just further away from from the sun on a flat plane. No, it that's doesn't. all approved. It, it, it's it's like yeah, you, no, it's you like you're that. saying uh, different people could could measure the elevation of a building and get differing results using triangulation based on how far away they are from the building. That would be incorrect. You can measure the height of a building using triangulation, no matter how far away yeah. you are, and get the same answer. Hmm. Do, do you not know that? The, Did, are you unaware that, that, that that's, that's completely that's possible? That's my point. I've already destroyed you, and, and you're still trying to double down like you're right. You, you, not, you have and not, no, you have not, not right. been able to put words to why you think I'm wrong. Just tell me specifically I what I, I did wrong. Time, and you're just trying to distract away from it. What was the specific thing that I did wrong? So what, okay, where's this little map you posted? I don't, what, what chat are we in? Yeah. You didn't even look at it? It's called Pirate, Pirate Radio, I wouldn't say. You didn't even look at, at, yeah. the, at the diagram that I provided. Uh, I did, I did, I did. So, why is there so many bots in this chat? How do they get here? It's ridiculous. All right, there it is. It's been posted to, by Bear, and then I posted, posted it again. again. Okay, good. So, so, you're looking for it scrolling up. So, okay, there you go. You're, you're using a 2D math equation right yeah. yep yeah because everything that i'm looking at is isolated within that plane so it's perfectly fine yeah no it's not fine okay then specifically tell me what's wrong and how to do it correctly well f first of all or waffle on if um, you can't no, i'm not trying to waffle on i'm just saying this doesn't work and and you're you're just you're assuming that the flat earth map is accurate Oh, you have a so, different map? Well, we, we, we don't actually know that this map is, is a true representation. Okay, but what we do know, with no question, is that in Minneapolis, at 45 degrees north, the distance from mm. Minneapolis to the Tropic of Capricorn due south is, is mm. 4,731 miles. Celestial navigation completely relies on that distance to be accurate in order for celestial navigation to work. So you have a heavy burden if you're going to try to show that celestial navigation never works. Man, yeah, this just doesn't doesn't really make any sense. Uh, to yeah, you, you I believe it doesn't make obviously. sense to you. I completely believe that, but you have not shown no, where I did anything wrong. All you've done is deny it. No, all, all you've done is applied 2D math to uh, a, a flat map that hasn't been proven to get different different elevations of course or different it has it's not about the map it has nothing to do with the map get, take the locations. map out of there stop straw manning the map it's the distance I'm not straw between, I'm it's the distance it. between where i was and the gp of the sun the gp of the sun was due south of me and that distance yeah. is well known 4731 miles doesn't matter then, for the map then you, then you tried uh, then you tried to verify by different locations on the flat map yeah and we repeated this measurement multiple yep. times yes. and so, so you're, you you're it sounds results. to me like you're asserting that triangulation doesn't work that basically the entire field of surveying doesn't work is what you're saying so yeah okay you know what go back on a round map and try to do the try to get the same result there you I, go they, they can they, then i'll and you'll start to get I, somewhere in fact that's what i did that's the second part of this so that has nothing to do with the falsification of flat earth, though. Step one, I tested flat earth. 
it failed. I used basic triangulation, which is which is done in. Uh, you haven't falsified anything. You're, you're oh, using no, he certainly has. Data. I you're using have. inaccurate, unproven data with a 2D math what, equation to prove nothing. Specifically point Basically out what nothing. I got wrong. Be very specific and if point you, okay. out what I got wrong. If you, if you input data into a software program, is the computer just going to say no? Yeah, I'm or is sorry, it you, you've asserted that the, that the data is wrong. I'm asking you to yes. tell me what is wrong about the data, not to, to go off on a different topic. What was wrong about just, the data? You, you, it's are you the asserting, whole thing is just, are you just asserting that that uh, Minneapolis is not four thousand seven hundred thirty-two miles saying, you or twenty-three miles? Grade school kids with this, but you're not going to bullshit at all. Okay, I'm, I'm asking work. you. Yeah, it's, you think you're smarter than this, so be very specific and tell me what is wrong with this. Is, three times, five times. Is Minneapolis? You're using a flat map, which hasn't been proven, so is, therefore the equation's out. Bam, it's finished. Again, is Minneapolis 4,723 miles away from the oh, okay, so um, now you just Tropic of Capricorn? The only equation that you can measure. Is it? Yes the or no? Okay. Is that Minneapolis, is Minneapolis 4,723 miles away from the Tropic of yeah, Capricorn? Now you're is, taking that, the is that the that, error? That it, I'm asking you for the error. I'm, I'm yeah, going through. It's just, uh, that's the only thing you've got, is, is the distance from Minneapolis okay, to the Okay, and you're saying that's equator. incorrect. To the alleged equator, but when we it's know the sun the equator, is constantly moving. It's not the equator, it's the Tropic moving. of Capricorn. Try to keep up. It's constantly moving up and down. So what? The Tropic of Capricorn you, is constantly you, moving? And the sun is constantly moving. So you have asserted. That's what we're testing. So... Are you saying I want to be very specific? You've said that all of the that the data is wrong. There's only two pieces of data that I have here. The the 4723 miles piece of data and the 22.5 degrees piece of data. Those are the only two pieces of data. Now which one is wrong? Yeah. So what time by time of year was it? It was What's the variable? It was the December solstice. So you you have asserted that I have the data wrong. Please be very specific. Yes. What data was wrong? Yeah. Anyway, this. Uh, I've look. If you're doing a math equation and you present it as a falsification of something else, and then someone else finds an error in your equation, you have to throw that math out. You and didn't start again. yet find an error it's in over. the equation. I'm right asking here. you to be very specific and it's point out the error. To what and is you're backtracking the and error? You're standing on his mini apple to, what to the so -called is the error? Results. What error? Just so tell yeah, me. it's over. Which no, what I, is the I'm error? Not gonna, I'm not going to go round and round in circles you, with this. You haven't yet identified what you think is the error. You, no, you just just take it over to There's a YouTube channel. Only people, two and, pieces and, of data. And then believe it. There's only two pieces of data. You've said that the data is wrong. And I've only started with two pieces of data, the distance between Minneapolis and the Tropic of Capricorn, which is a well-known distance. Nobody nobody actually refutes that distance. It's up to you now to go back and prove it back to me because I'm saying you're wrong. I've found in inaccuracies in your But why in can't you equation. why can't you specify the inaccuracy? Right. You, you can't keep doubling you down trying not, to prove you it to did me. not yet and then, identify and the then inaccuracy. Trying to say that I'm wrong when I've said you're wrong. You've said it, but you, you, you can't even put like words this. to you, okay, what you, you know, think what? is wrong. What is okay, wrong? If, what if, data is wrong? If you took wrong? this to a university professor, right, and he said, nah, this is wrong, go back and do it. I would you're not going to stand him, there and say, tell I would, me what you're wrong, double down, you know, blah, blah, blah. He'd tell you to get out of his office. I he, would I ask would him what was security. wrong about it. He would probably call security on you and get you marched off campus. I, I don't so think so. go back. And come up with a new equation, and come up with with a, with a new I perception. I think you, you um, don't actually understand what what you're saying, and you're you're just running away from it. You're saying it's wrong without the ability to actually put words to what you think is wrong about it. But I'm saying it's it's so low information and so low on data. Well, then you yeah, there's only two pieces that, of data. You said the data is wrong, and, I've, I've actually and so said, you should be able to point out which piece of data you think is wrong. I've actually said to you. That you cannot use the flat Earth map because it's unverifiable. I've already said it has it. nothing to do with the map. It makes no sense. It How does, does not. Even work? I'm not using the flat Earth map though. 
You, oh, you're not now. No, I never was. I, I was. You, were. you said you were trying to falsify the map. I was testing Flat Earth, not the Flat Earth map. If I wanted to falsify the flat Earth map, but you I would look at flight Earth plans. Probably as, as you even posted a photograph of it. So I did. I, 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 I overlaid. I overlaid the diagram on a flat Earth map. But if you want, this is I, can, I can. No, I can, no, I stop. Can, you can just a have a triangle you without it. Can you? Do you have the you capability of imagining the triangle you without the map? Away, there? I something else. Are you, you're, you're running from this pretty hard now. Are you kind of scared? I'm not running. I've, I've stated okay. my point several so, times. So be no, you haven't. Be very specific. Which data is wrong? There's only uh, two pieces of data. You said the data is wrong. I'm asking you of the two pieces of data that I input into it, which one of the two or both are wrong? Just just tell me. I you were trying to state that the evidence for different locations across the flat plane provides different elevations yes and i said well that's obvious that's a giving yeah well, why would that be given away. because you're going to be further away on a low and local sun oh so, my god so, local so sun. it sounds to me like so, yeah, you think so straight you away think, i've discredited that that's out it, it's no you've just asserted right. it it sounds to me like you think that somebody using triangulation to measure the height of a building would get a different answer based on how far away they are from the building is that right now you're you you're, you were using that method on the sun. Why not? What what's wrong with that? Because uh, you, as you even said, it's going to appear uh, different. Why? Based on your distance away from the building. No, the the height would be the same. The actual linear uh, height of the building is going to be the same distance, using this method. You, you can calculate the height of the building. Yeah, you can totally calculate the height of the building, knowing only your distance from the building and the angle to the top of the building. Mm -hmm. And no matter how far away you are from the building, you're going to get the same answer. Do you not know that? Is this new information to you? Yeah, no, uh, that, that's, the, that's the point. So then all of a sudden you're applying this 2D math to a 3D reality. The so building, the it's, building it's, is the it's 3D just reality. Not gonna too. Work, really. Are you saying no, that the building not is not a 3D reality? Can you, do, you, you agreed that it works on a building, which is 3D reality. And now no, you're saying no, you're, that you're, it doesn't you're work. Just changing your angle reality. now. That's all you're doing. You're, you're just trying to change your argument. No, I'm not. I'm using yeah, the same you, argument. You, are. you can no, use triangulation to measure the height of something if you know the distance and the angle. That's it. Yeah, and no, you're I, saying it doesn't just, work for some reason. Said that. Yeah, because first of all, we don't know. We don't. Know, we can't verify the the so-called flat map. And I'm not um, using the map. The only data I'm using is the distance and the angle. Not the map. No map involved. You keep going back to that. It's it's this little straw you're grasping at. Please stop trying. I mean, That's I, what don't, I'm don't, don't stop grasping at the straw. It makes it hilarious for the viewers to see how ridiculously desperate you are. No, your claim is ridiculous. How? What's wrong with it? Identify oh the wrong. God. You tried to verify your daughter, and which, I said you can't which, do that. Which data is wrong? Because you're going to have... Because you're using different locations across the so-called flat Which plane. Which data is wrong? To verify it. And I'm I said you can't specific. do that. You, you've asserted because that I can't have do that. And I'm distance. asking you to explain what's wrong with doing it like that. I've just told you. I've put no, you've only asserted. Into your, into your logic. You've only asserted and now it's over. things. You've, it's over. It you've is go over. Back and find something it else. certainly is over. You have not been able to explain why you think it's wrong. You just reassert. I've told that you, you, you two dozen from. times, and you're just denying it. Okay. All right, you're in denial. Can, can can anybody in chat identify the specific thing that he is claiming that is in error about this? Please, anybody. It demonstrates the globe. Well, yeah, of course, that's a problem. But, but I, I think he is saying that the distance is not confirmed. All, as I said, all your equation does is that you get different elevations from different locations and that was my argument from the start and i said you can't use that why based on your on your flat earth belief why not on your flat I, earth uh, i don't have a flat earth because belief. it doesn't work the, of course it doesn't work it doesn't work like that yeah it doesn't work of course that's why it falsifies flat earth but but you think that flat earth somehow survives it doesn't this. falsify anything it all proves that you have different elevations from different locations why would there be time? different elevations to the same object that's obvious why would there be different elevations to the same object, though? It would. Why? It does. Why? 
Oh my god. You can't explain why. You're trapped in a okay, corner. Okay, you know what? Okay, you're go completely... back and read it out again. You're completely if, trapped. Post in the chat, read the whole paragraph out again. <laughs> Remember, what? Mike, math is fake. Yeah, of course. To, to he, a flat uh, earther, you can't do math. Using... He wants you to stop using 2D flat math and use 3D spherical math. That's the correct math, is what he's saying. <laughs> of course, now he did agree. He did agree that this would work it, to measure the elevation it, of a building. And it for some reason he thinks it won't work to measure the elevation of the sun, but he cannot put words to why it would not work. Because you're as I said over and over again, it's not going to work. Yeah, that's Why? I guess. Yeah. Wow, it's not going to work because it's not going to work. That is perfectly circular reasoning. Do you have any non-circular reasoning? It's not going to work. Yeah, you said that now three times. Can you say it again? Or so, do you okay, have a different... so you're, okay, you're okay. Let's take this back then. So you're trying to prove that it's ninety-three million miles away? No, is not at all. What I was doing was testing the oh. the hypothesis of flat Earth with the small and local sun. That's what I was doing. And you, you I'm not going to change the topic because you're scared of this. No, why, I'm not scared of it. I'll say why won't work. it work? Why not? Why does it not work? Because it's, it's just not going to work like that. Why? You've said that now. That's number four. Why won't it work? Why? Because how, what would, there's just no basis for it. Okay, that's just a I'll different say way reasons. of saying Come on, it. Just say reasons. It's just a different say way of saying it won't work. So that's five. Can uh, you tell me why it won't work? Read out, read out your little paragraph again, and is I'll the, punch all in it again. Is the angle that he measured at 21 and a half degree or 22 and a half degrees wrong? Yeah, is the angle wrong or he the distance answer. wrong? You said specific, you made the very specific claim that my data is wrong. And there's only two pieces of data that I used. The distance from my location to the Tropic of Capricorn and the angle that I measured. Which piece of data is wrong? And silence tells us work. everything we need to know. He has no answer he has a religious belief that it must no, be wrong no, it's not but he cannot belief. put said, words to it I even because said, this you, this you, contradicts you, his religious belief overlay. this contradicts his pre-selected no, conclusion no. that everything must match his precious flat earth but it doesn't therefore he says earther. it must be wrong skeptic. there's a difference yeah globe it's the same, it's exact same thing. Taking a position. and i even discredited the flat map as yeah. inaccurate because there's too many yeah. variables. In yeah, there we, we know that you you hug the Gleason map assumption. pillow to sleep every night. That's fine. You can pretend that you're not a flat earther, but we all know what you really are. This I'm whole, not I'm, I'm not really, really a flat earther, earther doesn't fool anybody. Nobody's actually fooled by that nonsense. So, we okay, all know what okay, you here's think. Another point. We all know that you watch so, those Eric Dubay videos, even though you're going to declare that you didn't. I don't watch Eric Dubay. I make my own of Eric Dubay Of course videos. you didn't. I yes, am, of course you didn't. I am yeah. of Eric all, Dubay. All flat earthers say the same thing Eric once Dubai. they've been around a while. Like, oh, I can't take Eric Dubay because all his 200 mm -hmm. claims are garbage. They get demolished. He still talks about the AE there's, map. He said that tides... A, he there's said that of, tides were caused by the a, rising and falling of, of the of the of the the bosom of the earth. That nonsense. Yeah, you know that you can't go for Dubai, even though I it was the two hundred proofs two video two that, he, videos. that you watched. That was the first video I you watched. Watch videos. I all I did was sure. went out and found my own proof, sure, and I took sure. my own long range just, photographs, just and, I, like and I viewed everybody Mount Everest from, from Mongolia, and, I, and I looked across northern Russia. All right, and, and so I now, looked, I, back, I to the topic. Can Alaska, back to the I topic. Back to the topic. see Alaska from Mongolia. Then I what was specific sure, data is wrong? What's wrong? Just to identify <laughs> okay, let's, what let's, is wrong with my measurement. You said so the fine, data was why, bad. Why, actually, why aren't you calculating... Um, where, where's your actual curvature measurement then? I'm not measuring curve. I'm not testing for curve. I'm testing flat earth here. Are you 
You're deflecting, where should you live, though? You're I, deflecting I, I just, to a different topic to because this has demolished you. I'm not changing topic. You have topic. I, I just absolutely you. I zero your pathetic, response to your this, pathetic, so you have to change the topic. Map, it's destroyed. The topic it's over. is the I I said I punched holes in it. And I said you I punched are, holes in your equation. And you, and you go back and you invent a new Just equation. like every other flat earther, refuse to talk no about flat, flat earth, and you can only talk about the globe. But I'm here presenting the falsification of flat earth and you were unable to address it. I thank There's you no, for that. Okay. It's been Why? good okay. comedy. Why? 430 Let's people have watched you flap around Let's and go. fail to actually do it. There anything. is the correlation between the stars, the sun, and the moon and the flat planet. Who cares? Hey, Globe, well, there is a different topic. question. If I was acting like a flat earther, no matter what my answer would be, it would be trapped in a hole because if I say the 25 to or 22.5 degrees how accurate is that measurement if i require it to be 10 decimal places out you could just ask me why if i want want the exact distance to be within 20 decimal places of the seven you could just ask me why so no matter what he answers you can just ask him why because he wants the Earth to be flat is the answer. Yeah, that's that's. Hey, yeah, I don't, I don't want it to be. Based answer. on MC Tune's picture, can a, you tell me what no trig function you would use for the twenty-two and a half year angle and a baseline okay. of four thousand seven hundred and twenty-three? Which yes. of the three trick functions would you use to solve that? So don't, you, so basically, don't don't cheat and tell him there's three trig functions. <laughs> hey, uh, McToon, would you agree with my synopsis? Yeah, I one and three shot. You got this. But I want to. I want to hear. I wanna hear his, yeah, I want to hear his answer to Bear. What trig function would you use to get the uh, the nineteen? I wouldn't use any of it because, as I said, I've falsified errors in your math and and your okay. assumptions. Which, which and pretend then you have to wrong. throw it all out. The whole any, lot is started You it, have an if, angle. If you sat there and kept presenting the same falsified data to a university professor which, and doubled down, but, but which it. which data is wrong? Why, you you can't you even tell me office. which. There's only two pieces you know of data, okay. and you can't tell me which is wrong. Go, go and present the data. Can you even name one of the tricks? And I bet you you'll be thrown out because you can't verify any of this. Hey, hey Globe. I've made it easier. Glover. Can you just name one of the trick functions? Glover, you can't can verify you any answer the question, how many angles does a triangle have? I'm not. I'm not going to go go Flat down this path get because all, you're, all the because time. Because what happens when name when you guys get caught out? Function. No, every time you communists get caught out with your fake math, what, you what's go wrong try with to math? play gotcha. Just tell me what's wrong with because the math. Because you try and play gotcha every time. You're trying to play gotcha on me now. What's wrong with the math? You said the math was wrong. And you got what's caught wrong out, with the math? And I destroyed you. You can't even name a trick function. You, you can't, can't name a trick function. Because you're trying you to play gotcha You can't identify now. which data is wrong. You can't identify the equation that's wrong. You can't actually do anything other than just assert that it's wrong, but you don't know why. So you you're assuming the the flight of the sun then the flight of the sun flight the what the flight of the sun you you're, you're assuming flight. you know the flight of the sun no i'm Ooh. testing the flat earth claim that the sun is small and local well we know it's small and or close and local or more like it what is what does that phrase even mean what does close mean yeah. Because because we, ninety three million miles is a lot closer than one trillion miles. That's true. so it's close and local. Okay, you, first of all, no one can see ninety three million miles. This is I, I'm not saying that it is that uh, far. I'm just telling you, we're, we're ninety three million. We're testing, we're testing is a lot closer than one trillion. All you've proved is that it's cl it's the sun is local. No, I haven't. I've shown that that does not work. Yes, actually. you have. It actually so, you have because sorry, sorry. You, you even okay. Let's take it back then. You, you uh, even when I tried to discredit your math, you you tried to you verify the different locations, function. and then you said it was it was certain kilometers the, out by a factor of a thousand. The math said, is well, way over your head. Prove anything. This is middle school and then, math, and it's significantly beyond it your, does, your comprehension. Your math doesn't prove anything at all. I didn't claim a proof. Does it? I claimed it falsified flat Earth, not proof. Try to stick to exactly. the words that I said. It falsified flat earth. 
flat so earth is impossible. you're trying to use it as, as evidence to discredit it so there's no absolutely. difference absolutely it completely destroys gonna, flat earth you've, you've been no flat earther again. has any response to this and you're just another one to fall to this same no also you're trying a new geometry. angle now say, trying to say that i was wrong when i discredited this 20 minutes you ago. didn't it's discredit over. it you can't tell me said, that go back. Error. it's over you got destroyed you, you didn't ever you describe it. the error this is totally wiping the field with your ridiculous claims Wh and, what and specific error trick function. and i even said it's earlier i said you i said you could fool a grade school kid with this bullshit and you, you can put it in math that, that would be above your comprehension levels, level really? let me make that clear that would be above your comprehension level of geometry oh you <laughs> do not have a grade school level comprehension of geometry you don't <sighs> that's not an insult it's not an ad hom that is all an you're absolute doing now truth. is trying to insult because you lost that's if not a triangle an insult. has sides one one and yes, one it is. what are the internal angles as I said, you, you've got to come well, up with a different argument. How this many is not angles going to work. does a triangle have? Yeah, he doesn't know how many triangle, how many angles are in a triangle. He certainly isn't going to know how many degrees in each angle uh, of a triangle with sides one, one, and one. There's no chance yeah, so, that he's going to get. Guys, that. I'm going to say something if you don't mind. Uh, I'm well, I'm just. Th this is what science does. It uses assumptions hey, and, was and ridiculous claims was to try to discredit something without even without using uh, repeatable evidence. So this is embarrassing for you right now. Anyway, hey, you know what? Someone. Jason is trying to talk. J Jason, J well, Jason, why don't you go down to South? Okay, what you do is go down to South America J and go. Was it four? Jason go down four thousand miles in South America and try to do the same math. And see if you get different results. Yeah, you you do. That's the problem. But Jason was trying to talk. Let's let's see what Jason is the one who's the moderator here. He's the host. So let's let him talk. Go ahead. I don't even know what even what group this is. We're on like pirate radio. That was the wrong thing to say, mate. I was just about to stick up for you. Uh, yeah, guys, come on, keep it back on track a bit, because you know I can see your tactics. Take your time, then you all gang up on people, right? I can see through everybody, so I was going to say, take a step back and breathe and have another go, but then Globus doesn't even know where he is, so what am I doing now? I don't know. Yeah. He got worked <laughs> up. Worked up. He, right, I'm he, going to go Right, okay. Globus, you back on He's yeah, so hurt. this type of low information 2D math with distances and all that, it's garbage. And you're not going to use it on me or anyone else. You don't you don't it, think distances you know, are correct, it's huh? It's disingenuous. And this is what the government does every day with their culture control and mind control and all that. It has bullshit. nothing to do with the government. And, the government wasn't involved. Yeah, I just is, I just went out I just went what? out and measured an angle. Government had nothing to do with it. Yeah, and, and I'm I, telling I mean, you I see you're, you're hiding behind something. I'm not hiding by anything. I was brainwashed by the cult of Sokotoa. Yeah, so you got to watch out for Sokotoa. Some people. Whoo, yeah, so, it's powerful. So anyway, I want you to go down to South America, go, go the same distance from the so-called... Ooh, so like city people, yeah. And then try to verify it and see what results you get. Yeah, you're going to get you're going to get varying elevations for the sun on flat Earth. Why? 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 Because flat Earth doesn't work every time it's tested it fails and this is just one of the many ways that you can test flat earth and it fails because you're assuming that that it's even right across the the whole plane this Ass is where you fail assuming that you're what? assuming your Maybe result fine. i'm assuming that flat earth is flat so you think that the flat yeah earth pretty is much flat. you're assuming it. you think that that's the what i'm saying earth un un undulates and, and somehow you, you, so I'm not saying you use, you're using one dimensional thinking using 2D math to try and brainwash. But but what's Moronic wrong with but what's wrong dangerous. with that math? Because you agreed that the 2D math it's works to shit. measure the height of a building. I'm not going to go around around in circles, uh, McToon. No, that's all you do though. You, the math you have to admit that you cannot use this type of equation. No, you I have to, to admit what equation it's, he it's used. Yeah, and what it's equation? It's bad. What equation did I use? If anything, it, it, if you're using a, a direction and an angle, and and an and whatever a distance, I'm a distance it and proves an angle. that it's close. 
it's proved that it's close anyway. So no, I don't know what it what because, you're about. because because when I did it when we did it from a different location at the same day, we get a different, a drastically different elevation for the sun. It does not work. It shows Just that because... it cannot be close and <laughs> And local. as I said, you course you of course you're gonna have a different result from a different location. Yeah, that's a given. Yeah, you're back in a circle. So, yeah, you have it doesn't work, dude. You're back in the circle just saying it doesn't work. That's number seven, I think. Maybe you have all you have is deflection. Hey, well, no, you have deflection. Y equals MX plus B. What is I'd say from the start. That's a go good question. South America, same distance. Here you go. Go in, down to in the Hawaii equation. I'm going to ask, go I'm gonna ask Bear, Bear, Bear a great question. In the equation, Y equals MX plus B, which is the slope? As I said, when you find inaccuracies in math, you cannot use that same. Which one's same, the independent uh, variable? Series of assumptions. But you didn't find an inaccuracy in math. Do you don't again. even know which one's the slope in that formula. So yeah, I, I'm just if, saying. If, if you are so tend to know it. If you are so completely Destroy. disconnected from the math, you can't possibly point out an error in math if you don't because even know the error. simple the simple case of what is the slope in y equals mx plus b a falsify a flat map by using ridiculous I did, claims no, i didn't it use the map like you went back to that straw man again i did not use the map okay I'm fine. just using the distance and the angle that's it let's 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 see if we can find someone to verify it then. to verify what to verify your claim which claim is it which specific it, thing are you questioning your whole equation you, you, you're trying to defend. Oh, wh what equation what did I use? What's the, the one equation? you read out and the I one did, I destroyed. I did not read out any equations. So which equation d is wrong? You think I used Your the wrong whole equation. Claim, and then you tried to verify with distances which, and angles. Which that tells me it's No, 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 no. You said yes, the yes. equation is wrong. I want to know what equation is wrong. What is 10 divided by 2? So, yeah, it's over. <laughs> that definitely is over. I destroyed you half an hour ago, and you're trying to double down. You you asserted I used the wrong equation. I'm just asking mm -hmm. a simple question. It should be easy. Which equation is wrong? So, the, let's think here. So, if Wait, the sun moves to... You, I, I'm you, asking no, the question. I'll ask the question again. You said... Too. Before you deflect, you said I used the wrong I equation. I don't know why you're doubling down. You were destroyed Please 25 tell me minutes ago. What it's equation over. I used? What it's equation over. did I use? You've got to accept what equation what did, did I use? And you hey, globers have this, I, I, this weird. Why is it so hard to you? Reality you said that, that I used the wrong equation. I just want to know what equation I used. You seem to know the equation that I, I used. I told you because I punched which holes one? in it, and I, which I one gave is wrong? you a different a different direction, and then you I'm tried so, doubling down. I'm sorry. Down, that was not I told the, you that, that's again. not an equation. I, I've introduced uh, which I've introduced equation did I use that you said that method? You specifically said on, on, on you that. made a bunch of claims. Let's just review. You specifically said I used the wrong data. I asked which data was wrong. You could not give it to me. You specifically said yes. that I used the wrong equation. I asked which equation yes. did I use. You are incapable of answering the equation that I yes. used. Yet you're certain I did it wrong, even though you don't know what equation I used. You have this and absolute then, belief that and you, then, were, you this are is not great. wrong. You, you know say that, is? that it's done, and you're correct. It is done. You have no idea yeah. what you're talking about. Destroy it. I'm saying you can manipulate grade schools and re retards, but you're not going to. That's fool, what I just did. That's, like that's exactly what I just did. I completely manipulated you, and you have no idea what's going on. So I want you, and I, then I ask you to verify it. Go verify to a what? Location Specifically, the same what? In South what? America, yes. and I want you to know if you get the what? same angle and the same result. Why would I get the same you angle? I would not get the same angle. I would. Why? Because it's a different location. Yes. Yes. In a why? different location, I'll get a different that? angle. Why would you think that I need to go verify it somewhere else? What specifically am I verifying? 
How are you going to verify your Minneapolis data if you can't do it from a different location? Which data are you needing verified? How can you verified? keep doubling down? You did it from you four different locations. Need it, you have diff a different result. Please just tell me. So just tell me which what data. What do you mean? Which data do I need to verify? Stop which, presenting false shit. Which data do I need to verify? Right now. Which data do anyway, I need look, to verify? Which data do I, I need you, to verify? Uh, you said I need to verify data. I just want to know. Which data do I need to verify? Which of the two pieces in of data math, needs to math, be verified? You have to verify it. You have which, to verify your which math data? to get a result. Which What's the highest level of mathematics? Which no, data? No, I don't want to have to get to so the You're point, saying we don't need to apply any type of any type of, any type of control up. method or any type of verification. We just got to this assume that possible. your Minneapolis data back. is correct. Assume your Israel data is correct. Assume that your potential claim is one hundred percent accurate without any verification at all. That's your argument. You're an embarrassment. Right, you asked for it. Anybody else want pictures of my cock while, while, while I'm at it, yeah? <laughs> cool, hey, check out the I thought that might get it under control. All right, okay. Next time, Globers, I am going to start sending you pictures of my dick. All right. Come on, guys. Keep on track. It's been fairly good tonight. Eric yeah. Burns wants to know what 69 plus 420 is, Globers. <laughs> well, that's a lot. It's late at night, early in the morning. I can hardly smell my own name. I think it's about 93 million miles. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know how many zeros are in 93 million. Uh, two. About 11. Just go, about just go two. <laughs> two? At least. Actually, it's, it's, it's actually just uh, 93 million miles is, is actually just one. It's the number one AU. So it's actually a pretty small number. It's pretty close. Oh, I see what you're doing there. Sarcasm, like it. I've got a bit of no, a for that. No, he now. switched. He switched units to AU. Yeah, I do not want an astronomical unit. Is blue or not? Uh, I mean, that's that's good. Yeah, I don't think yeah, Lovers does, unfortunately. But man, that that was so circular. That was kind of fun. Bear, I I don't have we spoken before. Uh, I don't think so. Right. Maybe like once randomly. Uh, yeah. In a in a Discord when you were live streaming, but I, I usually find myself busy on Tuesday. So, well, it's a it's a Thunes Day today. And I got uh, the notification. I was, I was pretty excited. Yeah. Um. So all we proved that you're wrong, McToon, and you refused oh, to verify back. your data. We proved you can't name a trick function. You data. pretend to be an expert on them. So you failed miserably. I destroyed you. Next. <laughs> Do you want a sticker for your refrigerator that says "I destroyed McToon"? Because reasons. Yes. Thank you. I'll, I'll post it on my name. I'll do it for What do I have to do? Yeah, anyway, look. <laughs> I just want to let's just talk on a different topic here. Now, I want I want people to explain to me how the sun goes around in a twenty four cycle on the ball. I'm I'm really struggling with this. How the sun goes around in a twenty four cycle. Around that so called ball, the basketball. All right. Let, let's let's do this. I. I Instead of that, I presented evidence, and and I kind of I, I have to be I have to say, I, I was I feel a little guilty kind of monopolized by being me by having me present evidence. So let's do this. You present evidence for what you think is is the shape of the earth, and and uh, rather than me. So go ahead, go ahead. I'm a globe skeptic. Yeah, go ahead. Just just present uh, the evidence. So the point is, I'm, I'm struggling with how the how the so called light globe what do you want to call it a heat lamp sun how is this spinning around a ball i can't verify it anywhere this is a problem for me okay so for yeah, a lot of it, it sounds like you don't understand the actual position that's fine um so so no, no evidence from you then you, you don't have any any uh evidence to support your position have you been to a mall and there's those giant funnels where you stick a coin in and then the coin rolls around and around and around and around and around in circles that. Until it oh, eventually yeah, yeah. runs out of speed and, and drops in the middle. Have you been there? The, the only evidence I've ever found for how the sun moves around us is that it's arcing across a flat plane. I can verify that concept. That makes that what makes voltage no sense. would it need to be to, to arc like that? I, I cannot find any evidence that it's going to uh, more than FTFE's like, oven or less. It it just doesn't make sense. Yeah, what doesn't make and sense is that is that the, the sun would arc over flat earth um because nighttime for you is daytime for other people i i don't know if you knew that 
Um, but the the yeah. ancients, the ancient, uh, you know, like Greeks, they thought that the sun went through tunnels underneath the ground because they did not know that daytime for uh, that nighttime for them was daytime for somebody else. But uh, unless you're right. unless you're severely in denial, everybody does does tend to agree that nighttime for you is daytime for somebody else. So uh, how well, can actually, it arc look, over the flat earth? last week? Did you hear the, the phenomenon they had last week? I'm sure you, you're going to misunderstand it, but, but yeah, you haven't heard it, did you? Okay, there was sunlight. There was sunlight from China to North America, and they the scientists couldn't explain why that happened. But it's just this I, little phenomenon that happened. Well, do send do send the evidence instead of just making some vague. Exactly, claim. isn't that interesting? How these the, the data was send, hidden by send the, the actual science. data. Send it. The data was sent. Go, go ahead, send it by the science. Yeah. And While he's looking for the data, just I, have send, a, I have a very important question. Why do we have a 24 hour sun in Hold, hold on, hold on. In you're like, in Glo Canada. Globers are blind. Probably. Your your Probably. job is to go find the the data that you claimed existed. While you're doing that, Bear has a question. Hmm. Was there a follow up? Did CC get his prize? I I have I forgot to send it. <laughs> I do need to send him God his his apron. I've been waiting. Ah. Oh. Are you watching like re, re, every morning you get up to see if he has a new video where he's wearing an apron? Well, no, I just figured I'd hear it from your channel. I, watch it. I yeah, I need to send it. Thank you for reminding me. I uh, it, it's a little bit, it's it's a pain in the butt to send because I need to change a handful of things so that he doesn't get my informa information and stuff. So it's part of the reason why I send it in an Amazon box. I no, I, I mean I send it directly from Teespring. So anyway, all right. Did you? Get yeah. The, so my problem is, did you get the data yet? What's an Icarus grid? Why? Why do we have twenty-four hour sun in Finland, northern Canada, world Russia? This is a big issue. It's not. Not. It's not a big issue at all, actually. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm waiting for the data for that you for your previous claim. You never heard about it. This should have been major news across can, the world. Can you can you just obviously it wasn't major news because I don't think anybody was baffled by it like you are. Can you just send the data, please? <sighs> or do you just want to concede that you were you, you just were baffled by something that other people were not? That's fine. We can move on. No, it's it's actually it doesn't make any sense. To this you. is the problem. It doesn't so make this, any this sense to the, you. This is where the problem with the glow model fails constantly. You. That's why it I fails I'm a globe your skeptic. understanding. Your inability to grasp no science is not a valid argument against it. Just why, because you don't you, understand okay. it doesn't mean that it's wrong. It just means you don't understand but it. Why, That's okay, fine. Are you, uh, you anti-flat earth or are you a glober? McCoy? I'm a true earther. What's a true Earth? Hey, Mike. <laughs> yes, there's, Bob. There's, there's Google Earth right there, and as you can clearly see, there's China. There's America. This Bob, is one hemisphere. Have... The scientists must have forgot to open up Google Earth, or they didn't have Google Earth Pro. Could be. It's the only explanation. So you're okay. You're using Bob's Google Earth, Earth as, as, your, as your verified data. Asking. That's a that's a problem for me, because I noticed that that you or you um. All you Globers have been brought up on video games, chicken, pornography, Google Earth. Oh, done. You should have been wrong with video and games. It has nothing to do with it. Has so the, the problem is you're, you're, you're viewing two-dimensional data, being told it's a three-dimensional view, and then trying to apply it, apply it to a reality. And people, are, you Globers okay, so, constantly so do So can this. you actually and show what's wrong with it out, instead of just whining? You actually have any refutation? They actually for it. use okay. Google Earth actually uses an algorithm that bends bends their uh, that bends their their whole the whole software program to make it look round. Are you? That's, are a, that's you a, a big problem. Are you a developer? Real big so you, you know what they're doing? Do you write software? Okay. You know what? Do you Google write Earth uses an algorithm to bend their maps? Okay. Do you what, what an, equations are in that algorithm? Yeah. What what equation? And and are they wrong? Because it's a representation. You're, okay. You're, you're but, punching, is it, but is is it wrong? They, they're punching in flat Earth representations and flat Earth um, 
maps and for photography. No, they're not. They're using globe it. maps. All their maps that, are, are, are that globe is maps. an issue. All their maps that is are a globe big maps. issue for me. I think you're unaware. It seems all the maps that Google Earth uses are globe based maps. You can't be serious. Did you not know that? Yeah. No one is that retarded. They okay. use the, Come on. The, 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 you're you're an asshole. Just, just listen Google up. They, you're a fucking they, idiot. They use the web mercator projection in some of their views. <laughs> Did you not know that? Is this it, so new? Does, new, new does, flat, flat, does flat Google have the true flat earth map? Does Google have the true flat earth map? Flat, flat information. They're not bending any. They're not. They're not putting any bendy shit. So there is a real flat earth map somewhere. Maps. Google this has been it. proven. You guys are doubling down. This is autistic. It's well, if yeah, if it's been proven, then you should be able to just pop it right into chat. Uh, lacking that, I'm just going to say that you are uh, making an appeal from incredulity. You, you can't be serious, dude. You, Go ahead. The, no, let, me, let me show you. We we discredit this shit, and Google openly admits they bend their maps. Clever, Jason wants point. to say something. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, I don't know how long you've been on um, Google Earth, but. I'm certain I remember the function on Google Earth that they've removed now, where you could put any any map you wanted onto the, onto the globe, and they removed it eventually. Does anyone remember about. that? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, maybe you haven't been as, around as long as you think then, because that was definitely a thing. There's a Google Moon that lets you navigate around the moon. Does that and use flat moon, moon maps? Mm. I don't know, but my point was the software originally would let you put any map onto a sphere. Okay, so? I mean, so you're arguing for the fact that um, it's a flat map, it's a flat map on the globe. No, it's a globe-based map. That's what I'm saying. Right? Yeah. That's that that's that's what I'm going that's what I'm saying. It's a globe based map. For example, Web Mercator is one of the projections that they use, which is a globe based map. Yeah, you you are aware where they um created these maps, aren't you, in the first place? They yeah, they, they projected yeah, that you take yeah. in order to make a projection, you start with a non flat surface, like a sphere, and then you project it onto a flat surface. That is a globe-based map. That's how you generate a globe-based map. Is you, you, you start from a non-flat surface and you project it onto a flat surface. If the Earth were flat, then no maps would ever need to be projected because a flat map of a flat surface is the easiest map to make. You just have an N to 1 uh, scale and that's it. It's really easy. But since the Earth is factually a globe, all flat projections have to be projections from the globe data that's how you have to do it no the, you can only you import flat maps and flat photographs into it there's no into bendy what? data there into what that's 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 just weird so so you're saying that they're not using the web mercator projection map which map are they using then they're using they're using the original systems on how they created maps. Which which map are they using? Just be flat, specific. Be specific. Which flat. map are they using? And they're using photographs that were flat. They're yeah, all flat. I have a fo I have a photograph of my dog. Does that make my dog flat? It does not. My dog is still not flat very much. So uh, that the flat. fact that you can you can project is. something onto a flat surface. Does okay. not mean that the thing you've projected it from is flat. So now you said that they're using flat maps. Which map are they using specifically? Okay. If I went up to the Bering Sea, right, and I used um, these map, these so-called globe maps on the Bar up, up in the Arctic, right, I couldn't navigate. My boat would go in circles, right, because this globe does not represent reality. It's so you said, do you have any idea. evidence to support that claim, though? Okay, type into your little browser, map of northern Russia, map of northern Canada. They're not bendy. They're flat, and your longitude and latitude lines are square equal distances. Okay, so there's you, no change. All you've dude. done, 
All you've done is deflect from the question. You very specifically claimed that I'm not, Google, I'm not deflecting. I'm trying to spell it out to you, you in simple terms. You claimed that, that Google uses a, a map other yes. than a projection. So very specifically, it tell me which, bend, which is their the, the, source map. What is the name of their source map? Uh, if, okay, he, okay. If you zoom out on Google Earth, it looks round. Okay, that's just stupid shit. But when I zoom in anywhere on the flat flat map, it's flat. There's okay. no bendy. Yeah, because your screen is flat. So what get, does that tell me? It's it, it flat. Tell, it tells you that it's equal. a projection. I, again, I have a photograph of my dog. The photograph is flat. Is You're the dog saying flat. maps are a projection? Is the dog flat? Do you think my dog this is flat? Got run over. You need, you need to be kicked off the internet, man. My dog has not joke. been run over. I can tell you that. You're an absolute stooge and a fool. I'm, I'm, I'm asking you very you're specifically, dope. and you're running away. You said I, I couldn't spell it out any for you. You very specifically claimed that Google uses non-projection maps. What is the name of the non-projection map that they use? I hear you typing. This will be good. No, no, I'm, I just got a message in thing from my friend. Okay. Yeah. So look, dude, I, I, I don't know what deflect you're talking if you were about. Lying. And you've got De to stop deflect if you were lying. Google Earth as, an, as a representation. Go ahead. It's not. This is not a representation. It's it's just a perception. All right. You deflected. You it's admitted ridiculous. that you're lying. I'm not well, lying. Yeah, yeah, you are. Yeah, you're again. Not. Yeah, you lied. You said that Google uses a non. Uh, projection map internally, and and you can't name it. They use an I said they use an algorithm to make the maps look but, bendy, but when you zoom in, they're all flat, and their photographs are all flat. But but, but you very see, specifically so made a if, claim. If, you made a claim about what they're using. If every map is flat, then the whole system is flat. If every photograph if of my dog is a, flat, then my dog is flat. If you, if you tried to name so like everybody, up shut up now, please. Bob, if you start the feed off again live without asking permission, I'm going to ban you. All right. Carry on, guys. What, were well, you what happened? He keeps starting the live feed off right on his thing without even asking. You know? Oh. It's I a bit rude, Google that. Earth on, Mike. What's that, I don't think I haven't clocked Bob right that you've been lurking in here with somebody else because I clocked it the other day, mate. So. You know, don't I just had patience. Google Earth on. That's all it was yeah. like. Yeah, okay. No, hold on a minute. It's about asking if you can descend your place, mate. This is our place. So don't act like it My is your place. Jason. They're the right things to have said. All you have to do is ask, mate, and I'll, you know, I'll try to keep it cool tonight. Got it. Thank you, Jason. All right, sorry. All right, well. Uh, did you did you find the data? Did you find the data yet for uh, the sunlight hitting China and North America at the same time? So when uh, so when I, when I go back here, right, I'm zooming up. I'm on Google Maps, right now. I zoom up to northern Russia and Canada, right. Uh huh. Now, for some reason, the maps end for no no specific reason, and you can physically see. The distances across northern Russia and, and across all these areas, right? Now, but when I zoom out of, of this same location, I zoom out, all of a sudden it's bendy. It's bending around. So how did it go from being a flat representation to totally bent? You don't understand that? When you're close to something that's a... Because uh, they're lying. Well, you asked a question I was trying to answer. Do, are you ready for the answer? Because you don't know what you're talking about. Okay. If, if you're really close to something that's that's curvy, but you're super, super close to it, it doesn't look curvy anymore. Oh. You're too close to see it. Oh. That's why. So, glad I could answer your question. You didn't answer. You, you just you just gave a, a, I did, an you assumption. Didn't get it, huh? You didn't get it, huh? All right, that's fine. So anyway, look, uh, you just got destroyed again. Uh, oh, by, by who? It's over. <laughs> Was somebody else here? Just It's just completely over. Uh, it, it is over. I don't even know. You just... it, it is over. You're, you're, you're right on that one. But uh, I'm still Man. waiting. <laughs> so I, but, I, but I can't take you seriously. You must be trolling. Because even when... 
most simple evidence is, is pointing in front of you. You didn't present you any just, evidence you just reject at all. You didn't once present any evidence. All you did was make claims. I just destroyed Google Maps and Google no, there Maps. Was, there was a lot of evidence presented on um, mathematical illiteracy, but that, that's all I got. Definitely. Yeah, I got I got to. All right, I'll correct myself there. You did present a lot of evidence yeah. on your mathematical illiteracy. And I destroyed. So, I destroyed your your stupid stupid right. equations. You, which which what equation? Oh, oh the, which one? The so called all this all this so called angles you were using. Yeah, which equation? To get the, and, yeah, just, you, just I don't know. Sure, I couldn't take you seriously. Just name the equation. Yeah, what, what's what you, equation? You were even saying you were saying three thousand kilometers for four thousand kilometers, right? Yeah, yeah. So. I don't understand what you were trying to defend. I asked you, are you trying to defend I was testing. local or, I was or the testing. 93 million mile hypothesis? I was testing if it was uh, small and local, and I falsified it. And you cannot you identify you the error anything. in what I did. You, you refused all to you, attempt all to you didn't identify falsify. It. All you did was inject a debate into, into the argument. I said, well, you can't use that type of math. Why not? Because... It's it, it's false. Was, it's not false. Number eight. It's not? just it just proves that you don't know what you're talking about. Well, what what type the, of math can you use? Yeah, what what's wrong with the math? Because it, it didn't it didn't show anything at all. All I said it proved that you can get different uh, different altitudes and different locations. But why? You you, you all you, you don't understand why. You, That's you true. I, and I said go back and you, you go for me the information, bring it back to me. It made and no then sense. You refuse. Yeah, you, 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 for 20 you minutes. clearly do not understand the topic. It's way beyond you. Arguing I is not it. reality, McTurn. I ask you to go back and find some new proof and come back and see me. Then I'll no, look at No, you didn't it. identify any errors. Your, your, your claim is ridiculous. You didn't identify any errors. Not not one. I can't take you seriously. No one is that ignorant. Honestly. Yeah. Is ten to the negative seventeen a positive that or a negative retarded. number? Anyway, I don't want to talk about this anymore. This is embarrassing. It is ten to the negative seventeen? It's really humiliating. Oh, hold on, hold on. Listen, listen. This is a good question. Is ten to the negative seventeen a positive or negative number? I'm not even going to get in debate because we're not even oh, it's, discussing it's a, anything. It's like a simple this. question. If you could just say, is ten to the negative seventeen a positive or negative number? I'm not going to even discuss this because it's not what we're talking about. I, like I got down to a 50-50 guess. And yeah, and I still, asked you. Still couldn't get it. I destroyed your argument on maps. How? And then you you, you had to backtrack. How? Right? What was wrong? Because you're, you're trying to say that the, the, the maps were glow representations. I said, no, maps are flat. Yeah, and, and I asked you then I specifically to name, latitude. to name the maps that they, they don't used. stand on anywhere anywhere on the, on the flat yeah. plane. And you didn't you didn't but answer earlier. You said it wasn't a perfectly flat plane. You said and even that. even when I went to Google Earth and I, I proved to you that northern Russia and Antarctica is this it's all laid out flat. Then all of a sudden you told yeah, me it's bendy. your screen said, no, it's is flat. Your screen how could you is flat. navigate? Your how could planes fly is, over the Arctic? But, but your to, screen to is to, flat. Are you unaware that your screen is flat? And the only way that the map yeah, could be presented no, you, to you on is, your flat a, screen <laughs> is by making it flat? Is that beyond your comprehension? And I said, these are all 2D representations. They you're have to do it. That it's, if you have to do a 2D representation on a flat screen, is reality. Is I this said, no, really it's not that reality. difficult I destroyed this as well. Like, I'm not going to go over it over and over again. Are you really that dense that you can't understand that the yeah, only are, way to present a map on a flat dense. surface is to make it flat? But that doesn't mean that the, the underlying thing is flat. That's super simple. I, I, it's... It's really not that hard. My dog is not flat, but every picture of my dog is. That is seriously, seriously a problem for you if you live your life that dense. Yeah. I'm that's just saying. absolutely dense that you, you can't you're just comprehend fed rubbish for that, so long, that, you can't that tell my what dog is. You're, you're saying that my dog is flat because every so picture of my dog, dog is flat. flat. That's all you have. Now, uh, did you know that water is only 0.05% of Earth's total mass? Mac the Globist says that. Hey, Globist, I have a hypothetical for you. Let's say you took a bowling ball and you painted it on a map. Could you take that spherical, made-up, imaginary map and 
project it onto a flat surface? Is that possible? That's how you make him shut up. You ask him a question. He can't answer. He doesn't know how he muted himself. It looks like yeah, it's it's beyond him. Obviously, Dude, I, I'm not even I'm not even gonna keep keep going along with this. Yeah, you can't. We know you can't. It's a simple. Yeah, it's question. not simple that. Question. It's just I don't. It's a simple question. I, I don't know where this lack of logic comes from. Maybe it's injection. We're, we're trying to vaccine. figure that out. We've yeah, been trying all night. The vaccine all night. The brain damage you all. It's Probably kind of embarrassing. It is. For you, I mean, yeah. seriously, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send Google, I'm gonna send Google Earth a, uh, a cease and desist. Or... Yeah, you, you, you go, girl. You do that. I, I'm going to want to see that turns out. Good uh, what was that, Jason? I want to ask a quick, quick question about maps, if you don't mind. Sure. Um. Do you ever question the validity of old maps? Of old or, or, maps? Would, would you take them for what they are? Uh, the older they are, the more questionable they are because people didn't have as advanced cartography then as we do now. And certainly a lot of the older maps have some mythology built into them. You find uni uh, not unicorns, you find sea monsters and, and mermaids put in them. That's That's just you know mythology and things that they did kind of for fun sometimes so the farther back they go and the, the less reliable and then also uh they tend to not have documentation on who identified where these things were or um measured the actual like latitude longitude of the location all right because i've got to disagree with that the okay. main part of it because a lot of these maps if you look they are you know the the people who commission the people to go out and make the maps normally were very uh important people uh you know like makata was, was paid by i think it was the Wolf family or somewhere to go and do a lot of his stuff right so he wouldn't have just drawn sea monsters on when there weren't any because that type of behavior in the day possibly could have got you killed you know, they would have done it as accurately as possible. So so you're saying that if he drew sea monsters on it, he could have gotten killed. Why? Uh, because he was commissioned to make that map by somebody else who was very important. Okay. But so why using... why when when it was when it was the the trend to draw sea monsters on maps, why would he not draw a sea monster on a map when that was that was the common trend? It wasn't the common trend, though. But it was. There's lots of maps that have all sorts of mythological creatures on them. Yeah, but you said you said all of them. I didn't say all of them. I said it was the trend. I'm not going to turn this into a game of my maps bigger than your map, by the way. But there are some maps that there's absolutely no way you, the people who made them would have fucked around like that. Why? Because they're not their maps. They were paid to go and make them. So and if they made the slightest mistake in those days, that could have got you killed. So that, but why, why, where's the documentation of that? The documentation of what it could have got you killed or who, yeah. Who's, who yeah. The paid. documentation of could have got you killed. That's a claim yeah, and example, a claim example. that which is asserted without evidence can be dismissed without evidence. So where is the thou shalt make the map as correct as possible or thou shalt lose thy head? I didn't say that. I didn't say they shall lose their head. I said it possibly could get you killed. Okay. Right? And, and where, where is? But well, where is this? Anything, You're right? just saying it. Well, do, I can't go through and find it right now. Off okay. The top of well, my head. well leave, leave, it, leave remember, it as something to find for the future. I can I can link you to the video, but it's like a four hour video. I'm not it's interested in watching normal. a four hour video. Just find the source information. You go watch the video and find the source information. I don't want to watch Ewar's dumb four-hour video. But first of all, it's got nothing to do with Ewar, right? Was it Ewar's uh, video? It's got fuck. I, Ewar's another shill. I haven't you figured it out yet? Was it not Ewar's video? That's a four-hour no. video. Oh, whose video it, was it? it? it, it, it Ewar's video is about eight hours, isn't it? Some are, yeah. He has a handful. 
Um, I've only shown that eight hour one. Though, so which there. which is the who made the four hour video? Uh, I think it was I think it was Martin Lidke. I think Martin Lidke. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Seriously. Yeah, you do did, know. Did you see? Did you see him? Mark. Did you see him interview Mark Braun? Uh, who's Mark Braun? Mark Braun is the flat earther that literally claims that he is Satan. He lives right, in Florida. No, I've never heard of this guy. No. He lives in Florida. Martin Lidke interviewed Mark Braun, and uh, is a big fan of Mark Braun. I, I did a thing. It's on my. It's on my. Uh, I did a video on this ex exploring it and uh he said so so mark braun says that you need to do a blood magic ritual in order to go with him to the magic portal at the north pole so that you could throw yourself into the lake of fire and enter hyperborea this is literally what he says martin lidke's like yeah that's okay let's go right and your point is my point is I'm I'm a little surprised that you're all uh, uh you're like Ewar's a shill, Jaren's a shill, everybody's a shill, everybody's a shill, but you're gonna go for Lidkey? Wow. Well, when I met Martin, he seemed like quite a genuine person to be honest. Yeah. So, Certainly, so that could be the case. But you go watch his interview with Quasi Luminous; it's pretty creepy. For start, I'd have to watch it. For all I know. He was taking the piss out of the guy by, you know, agreeing, you know. But without me watching it, I couldn't comment, could I? But my point about Martin is this, he's, he's a big map head and he's got a massive collection of maps, right? And, um... All right. I've got my point out. One more point, though, on the validity of maps. Okay. When was the last time California was an island separated from the mainland of the US? I, I don't know. Could you hazard a guess? Nope. Right. I mean, was it ten years ago, thousand years ago, million years ago? Um, I I think I can safely say it was not ten years ago. But no, I I don't have any any uh, estimate uh, estimate of of anything uh, or knowledge of whether or not it was or was not an island. I I don't know. It's just, you know, just another thing about maps. Um... You know, not being right or whatever. That's why I brought it up. Because there's plenty of maps out there that show California not attached to the mainland by okay. many different people. But, right up in 17, after 1750. But is it correct? How was it, um, how was it verified? That's the thing. It well, it's, it's That's why farther older maps are more questionable. Because who did it? Who surveyed it? Who mapped it? Who was the cartographer? How did they measure their location? All these it's, things are 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 harder as you go farther back in time. And you know, it wasn't nah, until the nah, mid 1700s nah. that that people were able to use celestial navigation to get their correct uh, latitude longitude because they didn't have accurate timepieces that were yeah, portable. Yeah, you see, I'm, not, I'm not trying to contradict you, but I think it's so off the mark there I what? people must have you're so off the mark there i think people must have been using celestial navigation way before they invented the um you know the uh time thingy piece. with the timer yeah because it's quite obvious people were, people were getting around the world weren't they? basically so they must have been using it so celestial navigation when i say that i'm talking specifically about using uh angles to celestial bodies to get your latitude and longitude both and you and to get that accurately you need to know what time it is i thought you only needed the time to get one of those two is it longitude i'm gonna always get them back to front you, you can you can get your latitude if if you can see uh the the north or south celestial pole yeah it was a huge problem latitude is easy but longitude several uh like kingdoms they set out prize money and tried to figure out a way to accurately determine longitude because it was a huge problem in navigating and they weren't able to solve the problem until oh yeah i'm fully aware of that story yeah the yeah. mid 1700s so 
the, the latitude part was easy, but it was it was the longitude part that took a, a really long time. But nowadays, it's super easy to test. So. I've got to give you guys credit where it's due. Like, at least you didn't turn around to me and say, well, for all we know, they're not even real. Um, I'll leave it on that point, though. Many maps show California separate from the mainland in 1750. So I'll, 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 I'll just say this here. Uh, Glober Mom says, I've seen those maps it says, in which Baja, California, which is a peninsula below California, is in Mexico. So I would say maybe people could have thought that it was an island because they went around the Baja Peninsula and thought, oh, well, we're on the south side and not knowing how far up that uh, the water went, you could think without going there that there was an island. But that would be, again, because they didn't have, you know, the, the technology that we have today to travel better, to get their position easier, right? It, it used to take somebody who, who knew pretty well what they were doing and had the right, uh, very expensive timepieces to be able to get their latitude and longitude. Now, pretty much everybody can do it within just a couple seconds on their smartphone. Thanks to the satellites. <laughs> Salute. I'm not, I'm going to go out on a little, I'm going to go out on a ledge there. I reckon out of all you lot, I probably live the most north you live the most north yeah latitude could be i'm at 45 degrees north and you're probably north of 52. yeah nearly 53 yeah 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 i actually lived north of the arctic circle for a little while okay but not now you don't that sounds rough i wouldn't mind it was i like extreme Weather environments that sounds fun. Uh, all right. Anyway, if anybody wants me, I've got a massive collection of maps as well, guys. Like, if you want to see any maps, right, or evidence of what I just said, just DM me, man, and I'll I'll send you them. Um, do you, do you have all an it, flat Earth map. That's all I want. Yeah, the the one accurate flat Earth map. Doesn't have to be the whole thing, but up to like sixty degrees south latitude would be uh, just fine. Yeah. Do, to do, so 60 degrees. Yeah, do what Tiger Dan Because we can't do. explore past I don't that. Think it works for 60 I, I would like to see a flat Earth map that accurately represents the size as it relates to the United States of, let's say, Australia. Yeah, that'd be good. Now, you have got a point there. But then again, that's why I don't even think... The, that's why I asked about the maps in the first place, because that, that, be, that AE map just doesn't work when you look at it. Just, it's any flat earth thing. doesn't map map doesn't work well, I'll any flat perfectly right. flat map doesn't work because it's a projection of the globe yeah we've just been through this but i have plotted stuff on the ae map right and when when you put it down there you can it, it works what i have works? a feeling if i'd done it on a globe as well it would have worked what what but, works well the one particular time i'm thinking about was when i was sitting here it was getting light like it is now in the morning. And I said to God, Rocky, and I said, oh, it's getting light. And he went, what? He said, it's just got dark here. Like, it's only, it's only just dark. And I said, how does that work? He said, I don't know. He goes, because he's in Utah. And he saw the sun go down to the west. And at the same time, I was pretty much seeing it come up to the east. Right? And when I say the sun coming up, I mean, you could see the light, you know, the pre-dawn, whatever it's called. And uh, I mean, him would just... We were a bit perplexed, so I printed out an AE map, and uh, I kind of plotted it on there, and, and you could kind of see what was happening there. But I did, did say, I think if I'd have done the same thing on a globe, it would have uh, it probably yeah, would have come out try, the same. Try, try that in, in the south uh, south of the equator in December. Uh, I put in a Daz Nez's map there. That's a pretty funny one. You see that? Um, uh, I was in a different Discord yesterday, and this one flat earther, um, uh, it's whatever Discord, uh, the Asylum, yeah, she was um, yelling at uh, this one concave slash dual pole earther that um, he wasn't a real uh, true earther because anyone who suggests that there is a model is not real because there is no model. She, I mean, that, her, that's was her name Marissa? Instant fail. 
I mean, uh, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't Marissa. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll get it. Um, here, here's another funny one from Limitless and Awake Souls. What was that first one you put up on? I sorry, I didn't quite hear. Did you it say was, it was from Daz Nez? He's your countryman, or Darren Nesbit? Oh, oh, Darren Nesbit. I, I thought that's what you meant. Yeah, yeah. I, know. I met Darren as well actually at one time. Yep, that's his map. That's got the Pac-Man feature, and then uh, so does so what? does. He put that map out right there as a as a what for serious. Yes, that was his serious map. That that uh, he did that at the Flat Earth Convention in in England there in like 2018 or so. Hey Jason, do you have any road trips planned? Do I have any road trips planned? Yeah, I, I do actually, but not out of this country now. Well, next time you have a long road trip, you should measure the distance on your odometer and see what it says and compare that distance on a globe and any flavor of flat map you want and see which one is more accurate. That's a great hey, idea. Hey, great idea. Hey, Bear. I kind of did the same thing to a flat earther. He said he took a, to a trip from Chicago to Miami Beach. And for the next three, well, I asked him how, how far he drove, and he told me some amount of miles. And for the next few hours, I was really quiet because I was on Google Maps. And uh, I painstakingly zoomed in and took the free freeways that he would have took all the way there. And when I was done, guess what? The mileage he gave me and the mileage that it gave me was exactly the same. Well, Google's in on it. Obviously, they know no, his response was, "Is the odometer makers are in on it?" Oh, that's it. All right, here I have I have uh, probably I have the most accurate flat Earth map uh, ever presented right there. I posted. There you go. Um, definitely um, as accurate as all the other flat Earth maps. Um, you're wrong. Have you talked to Pete Shea? Um, I have talked to Pete Shea. His oh, flatter map with the dodo bird is the most accurate. Oh, all right. Um, well, uh, tell you what, Jason, um, I'm going to. Uh, it's it's it, we're we're kind of run out. What's his name? Uh, he ran out of steam. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna say thank you, Jason. It's been it's been fun, and I'm gonna pop over to just uh, on my channel here. Tune before you leave. How how accurate was your twenty two and a half degree measurement? How many decimal places out, or or were you not going for that much accuracy? Um, I actually did, and I don't have it handy. I did an analysis, uh, with full error uh, tracking. Let me see if I can find it. Um, I don't think I can because I think I misnamed the spreadsheet. <laughs> Uh, and what about the miles from from your exact position to the exact position of the the uh, Southern Tropics with Capricorn? Uh, the well, the distance I just used um, sixty nautical miles per degree. How did you how did you get to twenty three if you use sixty? Twenty three what? How how'd you end in twenty three if you have sixty as the base number? Because anything times zero is zero. Because my latitude was not exactly forty five. Well, sixty, you're still going to hit, end up having. Like if you have sixty times thirty three, ooh thirty three. See what I did there? Yeah. So, so my latitude was forty five point zero two zero eight three. Multiply that by 60 nautical miles. You're not going to come out with a uh, an even number. Yeah, because you knock the zero off, and then you put the zero back on at the end after you've knocked it off. What? So what? It, just like 33 times 60 is uh, 198, and then you add the zero back on. I don't know what you're talking about. 33 times 6 
is 198. But I, but I, why, why are you doing that math? I was at 45.02083 degrees north. Mm hmm. And you could times that by six and add the zero at the end after you, you've multiplied that number by six. Okay. Because it's 60 nautical miles. Yeah. And then you would end with a zero at the end, not a three. But, but I didn't, but then I converted to either kilometers or, or, uh, miles oh okay i see yeah so yeah okay yeah because it is miles not nautical miles okay never mind yeah my error sorry all right before so, we leave mike i posted a, a flat map a flat earther who was um yelling at sinclair calling him a poe for like an hour the other day posted you posted so, a map of that oh this it's two two poles uh, i the, i think oh flat. yeah that that particular one is um is uh is the one that um one of the guys from the flat earth society likes um and I'm, his name is escaping me at the moment but yeah there it is the two pole but of course it doesn't work you track the sun it doesn't work <laughs> nothing even okay. comes close well, the sun would go along the equator and then just disappear. Yeah, at one uh, on on the day of the the equinox, the sun would would stop circling over the north, and then it would start circling over the south. But it like, just needs portals, and it's it's good. Yeah, Por portals solves everything. Um, Tom Bishop, his name is Tom Bishop. He likes that one. So, hey, hey, Jason. Yes. If you're going to make an accurate flat earth map, could you accurately represent the south meaning that 23 degrees north and 20 degrees 3 degrees south according to the truth, uh, true observations, they're the exact same distance around the circumference. So you have to make your flat earth map exactly resemble what it would be like if it was actually in reality. Can you do that? Um, uh, probably not because I'm, I'm no experience in making math. Yeah, but... and he's not going to go outside. He he remember he started this by saying he would, he he can't be motivated to do something like that. That that was me trying to choose my words carefully, <laughs> you know, because I really did give up arguing about the flat Earth guys. I did. It, 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 if you were that, to do this, I guarantee you, you would crush your idea of the ice wall because Antarctica would just turn into a to an island. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. J Jason, right. thank you. Yeah, no worries, man. We'll thank you. you for coming back with us. All right, uh, so, um, Lael was asking about the error margins, and so the, here is the sun angle measurement that I did that includes the error uh, analysis. So I. Uh, the height of the stick, and then I included the uncertainty, the relative uncertainty. I got the length of the shadow, the uncertainty. And this the the uncertainty here was based on like the um the thickness of the chalk line that I drew, for example, um, relative uncertainty. Um, Sorry, I looked at something else that was on the Discord server. Like, what the crap are they doing there? So, um, anyway, I will tell you what. I'll put this out. If anybody has uh, wants to look at it, you can look at it. If you find errors, let me know. There's a little bit of extra junk on there that I did that that isn't is probably won't be um, understood because it only made sense to me and. I'd like this stuff here, some of it. And and of course I will have forgotten it. So <laughs> uh anyway, there's my latitude, the angle of elevation, the uh included adjustments for refraction, and the uh, adjustments for refraction I got out of the nautical almanacs. So I adjusted the angle, I got the co-angle, the distance from the subsolar point. 
the uh, sun elevation on flat earth right there. Different um, measurements. Some flat earthers say that it lives up and down, moves up and down, and some say that it uh, doesn't. Um, but it, in neither case does it work because simultaneously you get the wrong answer. So I give the uncertainty and then so oh yeah then then i i use it to measure the radius of the earth and i get 6406 kilometers as the radius of the earth and of course that's going to be relative to where i am and where the sun was so remember that the earth is not um a perfect sphere it's oblate and the the amount of off how far it is off is based on where you are and where the sun is in this case i'm using the sun so it's going to be relative to, and i don't know i didn't do the math on that to to see what that might say because i'm not coming into this knowing the radius of the earth i do know that it's oblate though so and i give the uncertainty and this is in kilometers here so you can see this one here is is a little larger these are 20 44, 33, and this is 383. The reason why, this is interesting, the reason why this number is, the uncertainty is larger, that's the, the second one, is because that was June. And the length, the, the length of the shadow was less. Look at that. 0.48 versus 3, 1, 1, uh, 1 1.2, 1.6. So the length of the shadow was in proportion to the height of the stick. It wasn't a stick. It was my tripod. They're closer together. So it increases the relative uncertainty a little bit. So there is, uh, there's that. So I got, got a couple super chats to read here. Uh, all right. Judy, Judy wants a copy of the map. There you go. You got it. Um, and then, oh, I got to go back to this. Then this right here. That picture there, this is really cool. I, I looked at it briefly while Goofball was talking. Um, from Eric Burns, says there is uh, his favorite example of tides from Saturn. So thank you for that, Eric. Yeah, that is pretty cool. So this is um, briefly, let's see, showing the small moon Daphnis inside a gap in saturn's rings um the beauty of the shot is apparent but science behind is even cooler so so that is um and i'll i'll send that right there in the chat for everybody so to do if i if i'm not going to read it right now but anyway if i understand it right that's the moon causing a, a disturbance in the rings of saturn because of its gravity so that is pretty cool. Once again, Lucky's 13 Pub, July 5th. Uh, we got Korean Bull says, you're confusing these people with high school level math. I didn't actually even show the math. The Basically, this is a concept, which really you can explain to an elementary school kid, to actually have somebody use that concept and produce numbers. You can, they do teach in middle school. And uh, let me see. Look at my, my uh, thing here. To do the trig is, is often taught in high school. Where is it at? I have a, oh, all right. My uh, visual aid is not there. Maybe it's somewhere down here. All right. All right. I have, I, I have a, a, a protractor. So in, in, to a middle schooler, you could have a middle schooler without knowing the actual trig, draw it to scale and then use a protractor to, to draw an, a line at the correct angle to scale and then use a ruler to measure the height of the other side of the triangle, the opposite side of the triangle. So a middle schooler could do it using, um, you know, a protractor and a ruler. A high schooler, some, not all, could do it using the actual trigonometry. If you have not used it since high school, 
if you're a couple years out, I no no reason to think that somebody would not forget it. Certainly, you, you know, you you might you might say, oh yeah, I think I know what Sokotoa is, but not really know how to apply it. And it's the kind of thing that takes a little bit of practice to get back on. Um, so I get that they wouldn't that somebody wouldn't necessarily know how to do it offhand, but to not get the concept, that's a problem. And and it was weird. He said that he he thought that you could accurately measure the height of a building, no matter how far away you are from the building. Yet, for some reason, he did not think that you could measure the height of the sun over flat Earth, doing the exact same process. I don't know why. I don't know why that's... How, how could he... And, and, well, I mean, I guess I do know why. It's the, the, um, the cognitive dissonance that contradicts his preselected conclusion. And he is unwilling to let go of his position. So he declared, he's like, it must be wrong. And he could not for an hour identify what was wrong about it. Very embarrassing. I want you to remember if you're watching, if you've, if you've, this is your first time you've seen a flat earth debate. I want you to think about that. This is a pretty common flat earther. They can't put together the idea of how this level of geometry works. It really is the, the concept of this level of geometry is elementary school. You could do it in middle school. Um, it's not, <clears throat> It's really not that hard, but they, they can't get it. Um, so if this is your first time seeing a, a flat earth debate, and you're like, what in the world was that? That is, that is what they are. That is a, a very typical sampling of a flat earther. Um, I, I present this, this, this measurement to them often and they, they cannot handle it. Um, I, I, I love doing it. It's like, if I just want to just, you know, get somebody spinning in circles, that's it. Um, so yeah, thank you for that Cretan ball. We got earth is life says if like five people, it's like if five people in a large parking lot measure different heights of the light pole, depending on how far away they are from it. Absolute lunacy flurfs. Yep. That's essentially what he was claiming. Yeah. For some reason he thinks that it would work for a building. He's like, you're using two dimensional geometry in a three dimensional world, but it works for the light poles. It works for a building. He didn't, re he didn't disagree with that. I don't know. It's, it's, it's got to be a real uncomfortable thing for them. They're sitting in a corner all the time. They, they paint themselves in the corner. That's where they live. Um, at in the chat says, since I got banned, ask them how they feel about Hinduism clearly stating that the earth is a ball. Well, let me guess. The religious flurfs will say that's not a real religion or not their religion or not the religion they, they like. <coughs> Hold on. Um, but of course they would all have to say it's wrong. You probably would be best to ask that to a Hindu flirt, flurf. I don't know, I've never met one. <clears throat> I don't know if there is one. There are some flurfs that read the Hindu scriptures, like Santos. Um, but I'm unfamiliar with any point uh, in, in Hinduism, any place where in Hinduism it says that the earth is a, a sphere uh, or a ball. So I can't speak to that myself. So... Pat the chat then again comes and says, word of advice to people. If you want to stay in the server, don't call it a trash heap. <laughs> yes, that's a great word of advice. Don't, don't call the server a trash heap. Um, Bread on its own has been a member for eight months, says eight months a member, eight months of flurf incredulity. Indeed, that is, that is their primary go-to. I don't like it, therefore it can't be true. Uh, Luke Firewalker says, uh, who's been a member for 26 months, I have two sets of data. Which one is wrong? A or B? Flat or third? Yes. Oh my gosh, I tied them up. Didn't I? 
he's like, your data is wrong. Oh, there's only two pieces of data. Which is wrong? He couldn't answer. Your equation is wrong, he said. Oh, which equation? What is the equation that I got wrong? He didn't even know. Clearly, he couldn't handle trigonometry, right? I, my guess is he did not take any trigonometry in high school and certainly did not take any math classes since. Not a, not a thing to be ashamed of. People don't need to take that. Some people don't have an aptitude for it. But if you don't have an aptitude for it, you better bow out of the conversation because it's, it's not your conversation to be had, right? And he... He discovered himself in the conversation without the humility to say, ho, oh, ho, ho, I better back off. Um, and I've said it before, you're not tall enough to ride. You know, the, the kid that, that's not tall enough to ride the roller coaster, it's not a shame for the kid that's not tall enough to ride. They're just not tall enough to ride. It's not a shame for a person to not understand trigonometry. They just don't understand trigonometry, but have the self-awareness to know that you don't understand it and shut the hell up. You just say, oh, you don't understand. This isn't your topic. Do not have any opinion at all on the topic. Just say, okay, I will go with the people that do understand the topic because they have the, the background in trigonometry. There is no flurf that understands trigonometry. Like, I've never seen one. Um, <clears throat> well, with one exception. The mind of God, who thinks that God is deceiving people by making the earth look like a sphere when it is actually flat, he says. Um, that's his... <laughs> and I have tried to contact him. No answer. So He, he may have had uh, some sort of a crisis of faith, um because of his flat earth position and and uh, he he had hinted a while ago that he may take it in a very dark direction so a few of a few of us have tried to contact him with no success if you found him if you talk to him if you know where he is or how to contact um uh mind of god Shiraj Shiraj patel i think is his his name he 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 states it he doesn't just use his pseudonym um, <clears throat> um, contact me. I'd, I'd love to at least just have a chat with him. I, uh, always did have a friendly, um, time talking with him. So I hope he's well. So Steve 6464 <laughs> Newton, who's been a member for two months says your error was trying to explain math to a flurf. Yes, that's a problem. Um, All right. Um, Patrick Butler says, why didn't Jason try and listen to me when I explained how far the earth was to the moon to make my point in our debate? Well, well, we know flat earthers do not want to listen. They do not want to. Um, they typically don't even want you to present evidence. They'll ask a question and then not let you answer. <laughs> Patrick Butler again says they sound scared when not in echo chamber. Now that's interesting. That was an echo chamber, supposedly. That's the Tartaria server, the new version of it. Um, and Jason, who, I mean, he kind of has taken my advice. He's like, I don't have an opinion. He does have an opinion. That's the thing. We know. We know he thinks it's flat. He just knows that he can't back up his position. If you know you can't back up your position, then your position might be wrong. Definitely time to reevaluate. Same thing with Dovid. Do Dovid waffles around between concave and flat. Like, what piece of evidence did he go from flat to concave and then back to flat? Nothing. Like, he he's not swayed by evidence. That's not how he got between those two. Mark Beiser, who cares for, for 333? says, who cares about triangles? Let's do do angles. Do or do not triangle. There is no triangle. I could have said that. Judy, you got this, says, I want to be in, I want to be in the cult of Sokotoa. 
I want to be in the cult of Lake Titicaca. Who's with me? Oh, Titicaca life. Um, Patrick Butler again says two weeks straight of nonsense like this. Yes. It's, it's what they have every week. Oh, oh, we got a puppy. We got a puppy. All right, hold on, hold on. Where's my puppy? All right, hold on. Yeah, there it is. No, no, I don't want, I can't have two at the same time. There, there she is. There's turtle. No, uh, penguins. Why did I call you turtle? How you doing? How you doing? You, you don't see all the people there? Say hi to the people. Hello. No, nothing. She's, she's a sweet pupper. She, uh, here you go, here you go. Um, we taught her to, uh, to poke her nose at the, we have like some bells by the, by the door and she'll, she'll run up and poke it when she needs to go outside. And today she's poking it, poking it, poking it. My daughter, she's like, Hey, tell you pooped on the floor. Like she was ringing the bell. You didn't let her, I didn't hear her. Like, oh, well, <laughs> so yeah, it's a problem. <laughs> uh, Let's see, where'd that go? <clears throat> we Oh, I got another cat. Okay, hold on. One at a time. Come here. This is turtle. Oh my gosh, turtle. You big cry. There you go. So cute. Look at that. Look how handsome he is with the tie. Meow. There he is. Oh, yes. Yeah. There. Yeah, look fancy. Look fancy. Yeah. The, the uh, turtle, the paw office of turtle caterney. There you go. Down. And then this one. She's the sweet. Look at her. Look, she's so nice. This is Raccoon. She's she, she's got the sweetest meow. There it is. But she wants to go. She doesn't. She's not as whiny though. But she's tiny. There you go. Alright, thank you. <laughs> and I don't know if, if I told you. Our guinea pig is no more. The guinea pig is, is uh, you know, he was buried in the backyard. It's like eight years old, nine years old. I don't know. A, a rather elderly for a guinea pig. So, Liquid Flame says video games, chicken, and, and prawn. That's my Saturday night. <laughs> like, like they can never just stay on topic. They just have to be like. Let's bring this in and this in and this in. Like, can, can, it, 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 just because somebody does something that you don't agree with doesn't mean that their position on the shape of the earth is wrong, right? Keep it separate. If you think that they shouldn't be doing something or they should be doing something, well, then, then uh, you know, as is appropriate, talk to them. But if they're not your friend, you really don't have a place trying to change their morals, right? Start with your friends, maybe. Or yourself. Is it projection? Maybe it's projection. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> Zoomeray uh, sent the uh, his or her first super chat for two ninety nine Australian. Thank you very much, Zoomeray. Uh, congratulations on your first super chat. And I do I like the name Zoomeray. It's pretty cool. Brian Peck. Oh, dude, I haven't seen you forever says what aussie that aussie you were talking to is a piece of work anti-gay anti-women anti-irrational marriage racist and hopefully a, hopefully a post side note he thinks that all women have below 110 iq wow the aussie that i was talking to um was globers are blind an aussie or was jason jason what curve Jason Whatcurve is from Birmingham, not uh, not Australia. Um, but he he told me today that people have accused him of having an um, Australian accent. So maybe that's who you're talking about. But yeah, I mean, that's all of those things are pretty common in Flat Earth. Um, the extreme misogynistic position of all thinking that all women have that IQ. <sighs> Seriously. From a guy that probably has an IQ less than 80. It's ridiculous. Jason, who is Bear that I was talking to? It was good to talk to you, Bear. Very, very nice uh, uh, po poking, at, poking at him. 
I mean, the bear was poking him instead of poking the bear. Uh, but Jason says, long live the cult of Sokotoa. Indeed. You know what? I, I have I have my slide rule right here. This is a trigonometric slide rule. And uh, and it's this is amazing that people did trig with this. Um, what I find most amazing is that some people might have been able to do that without a magnifying glass because <laughs> it's so tiny. It's super tiny. <clears throat> Globers are blind. Okay. Timbo Turtle says Globers are blind is an Aussie who usually goes by uh, the handle Blatech. Oh, uh, okay. And yeah, he, man, he was seriously. He thinks women have an, a low IQ. He has a low IQ. What a dummy. What an absolute moron he is. I mean, that's typical flat earther, but geez. Um, Tim Davidson says, Lord Illuminous Pooh told me to say he has an amateur tractor. He has an amateur. What the heck? What's an amateur tractor? <laughs> All right, uh, Deus Ex Tomato has been a member for eight months, says Hindu Hinduism actually states the earth is a ball floating in a buttermilk ocean. Oh, maybe that's where all CC's buttermilk went. Does it really say that? A buttermilk ocean? I don't know. Zoomy kind of jokes around a bit. Um, Tim Davidson says, concave get one question. 40 years, where's Voyager? What? Oh, yeah, Voyager, the satellite. <laughs> well, of course, I was thinking Star Trek. I'm like, wait, Voyager, Star Trek Voyager. And then I went to Captain Janeway. Then I went to what? Uh, I forgot the actress's name. Then I then I went to her being tricked into to doing a, a spot on the geocentric stationary earth documentary by robert Sengenis, and she didn't know that she was doing that i don't know how reading the script I, I i guess i haven't i haven't watched it enough detail to know whether or not what she said in the script could have led her to believe that or led her to know or not know about sun genesis position sun genesis is a globe earth geostationaryist um which which I think Witsit will be after a while. Witsit and Sun Genis had a conversation, and um, Witsit totally, he, he's totally in. He's totally going to be a, a geocentrist. He's because he constantly posts things about the Earth being a globe all the time. When I asked him about um, eclipses, right? Because he had made the claim that. Um, that uh, the Chaldeans could predict eclipses. I said, well, well, show me how they predict eclipses this well, where they actually have like the, the location. And of course he had nothing, um, nothing at all. But he, he did in the process of fl flopping around, trying to support his, his claim that he made, um, post several things that were talking about predicting eclipses on a geostationary uh globe <laughs> you know probably from sun genesis like it didn't help you so um there are great trackers for the voyager one and two satellites so uh, probably so anyway oh, what would a concaver say a concaver would say the same thing as all the flat earthers say they would just say no -uh. they would make the false claim that it didn't exist that it was never launched that nobody ever did it that everybody working on it was in on it or fooled that's all they have so <clears throat> Um, the uh, repo Sandman says the antikythera mechanism is a real thing that just reflects what we knew about cycles back then. It's not a huge mystery. And that's correct. The antikythera mechanism is not based on um, geometry of the of the earth. It's based on repeating cycles. Um, and it doesn't give anything like this. And neither does the clock in what town is that? There's some clock in some town in Europe that flat earthers are like, look at this, that clock. Like, well, 
all you're repeating is the same thing that that your papa flurf said without actually showing the details of it but no none of it's based on the geometry of the shape of the earth so <clears throat> danny danny has been a member for five months says mc tune thank you for all the wonderful laughs will you thank you i thank you for thanking me i uh, i appreciate being able to do it it's fun i, I love doing this <clears throat> Jason Bear, again, says, Mike, how can I get more distance on my pulse? Oh, for ultimate? <laughs> practice, 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 and then more practice. Um, seriously, one of the kids that, uh, that wound up being the best puller when he was a senior was, this is ultimate Frisbee, people, if you, and I'm assuming that's what you're talking about. Um, he would load up all of the discs that he had, go down to uh, a place near his house. This is when he was in, you know, you know, ninth, tenth grade, and and throw them all, every one of them down. Go collect them up, turn around, throw them all back, and he could get an eight to ten second pull. If it was into the wind, he could get a ten second pull in the back corner of the end zone. The defense is there. Everybody's standing in front of their man before they catch the disc it was it it only happened a couple times because the wind needs to be right but it was it's a thing of beauty when they do that <clears throat> um so let me see this yes okay so <laughs> coffee breath says chaldeans is a hard c chaldeans yes i'm sorry and i knew that but it's got a ch and i and i i i didn't i don't know is this you I see the word in my head when I pronounce it. I see it when I pronounce it. So when I pronounce it, I'm reading it again with a CH, pronouncing it with a CH. I don't know if that's if that's just me or if some other people see, experience it like that. So uh, Lord of Luminous Pooh, <laughs> been a member for one month. You've been a member longer than that. Anyway. It says you said protractor pro amateur oh let me go back let me go back to tim davidson says lord illuminous poo told me to say he has an amateur tractor and then lord illuminous poo comes in you said protractor protractor instead of amateur tractor you see what the the play on words there haha ha, fire fine not my best tim didn't say it right it was funny Till he messed it up, I swore. <laughs> I get it. Yes, protractor, amateur tractor. Very, very much a dad joke. Very much. Um. Oh, is flat flat smack? <laughs> oh my gosh, so dumb. It says if you believe you're spinning, can you tell me if you're spinning left or right? Um. There's no left or right concept when spinning. You first need to establish your orientation. But if you don't have an orientation, there is no left or right to your spin. It's like, that's not a, it's not a gotcha question. That's a, you don't understand geometry question. It's embarrassing for you to even ask it. Poor flat smack. Flat smack again says, what would it feel like to spin on top of the ball? Would you spin faster? I guess so, right? No, you would still spin at the same angular speed as you did if you were on the center of the ball on the earth it's 15 degrees per hour it's it's not a fast spin at all um so you wouldn't feel it in fact your uh, vestibular system cannot feel constant angular velocity it can only feel an acceleration in velocity a change in angular velocity so if you remember as a kid You'd run up, you'd pick up the baseball bat, you put your forehead on the baseball bat, you spin in circles a certain number of times, right? And then you stop and you have to run back and you're all, you're all dizzy. The reason why is because the fluids inside your eustachian tubes gets moving. You, you first, when you start spinning, they're not rotating and then you're rotating. <clears throat> and then the fluid gets rotating because the inertia 
uh, and the, the the friction between the walls of your, your station tube and the fluids there causes the fluids to begin rotating. Then when you stop spinning and you go to run back to where you came from, the fluid is still spinning, giving you false readings because you still think you're spinning. That's what's happening. You can't you can't feel constant um, rotation. There's no part of the human anatomy that can do it. Why? Why are you? You don't have to be dumb. You could choose to educate yourself. Um, <clears throat> Jason Bear says, could have been a 10.05 second pull with Corey Lawrence. <laughs> yes, do you take into account Coriolis when you when you pull the disc? Uh, sorry, I'm using <laughs> exactly. Uh, it was weird. I was gonna play today, um, but the smokiness. We're like, no, we shouldn't. So, Jivy Cone says, "I was gonna tell Flat Smack you can tell which way you're spinning by looking at the surrounding objects, like when on a merry-go-round. If things go counterclockwise, you're going clockwise." True, that's one way to do it, um, but without establishing that, you don't know. And of course, spinning left or right, if you're on a merry-go-round and you're and you're facing outward, and then you start spinning, while the merry-go-round, and you're going to be going either left or right, while facing outward, and then while the merry-go-round is still moving. Rotate yourself with in relation to the surface of the merry-go-round 180 degrees. Now you are left to right moving the opposite direction as before. It's relative to the thing you're on. Seriously, you're, you're embarrassing yourself with your stupidity, Flansmack. Um, Lord of Luminous Pooh says you evolved with that motion even stop feeling your watch no thinking for all time if if we if we ever could we can't now so yeah we we evolved with that motion yeah it would not be useful to any uh to anybody to sense the rotation if you're constantly rotating it would screw you up if so there's no reason for us to have the ability to sense the rotation. It would be a hindrance to us, in fact. Um, whether you're an evolutionist or a young Earth creationist, in, in both circumstances, right? So flat earthers, young Earth flat earthers, it doesn't make sense that, that we would have the ability to feel it. It would not help us. Um... <clears throat> Have the, um, Liquid Flames, have you ever, says, have you ever played with Mark K. Brownlee, a.k.a. M.K.B.H.D.? I don't know what that is, so no, I have not. Um, Flatsmack says, don't feel bad, you're actually right, the Earth is round. Yeah, it's spherical. When we, when we say round, you know we, we don't mean, yeah, playing word games doesn't change things. It just makes you a douche. That's all you're doing. You're, you're, you're being a piece of crap um jiffy Gone says now i know what you're thinking but i already have too many empty peanut butter jars as it stands all right just a second people i'm gonna have to put that into my uh my notes here i haven't used one of those for a while so i'm gonna have to uh i'm gonna have to um break that into another video i usually do it to introduce the chat box travels, which I haven't done for a while because I haven't had a lot of chat box travels worthy things to um, to use. So, all right, here it is. Added. Thank you, Jiffy Cones. Um, Lord of Lumis Spoos's new keyboard is ergon ergonomic and messing up my spelling now that I could not that I could spell before. Yes. Oh, let's what what else is Flat Smack saying? Don't feel bad. They tricked me to you are currently being tricked, Flat Smack. You let, let me just be clear, Flat Smack. You know these things. You don't have a map that works. 
you know that you don't have a measurement of the elevation of the sun or moon over flat earth. You know that you don't have an explanation for why the sun and moon stay up. You know that you don't have an explanation for whatever path you think the sun goes on, whatever map you think you have, why the sun and moon switch between the Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn. You can't explain that. You don't know what the sun is made of and how it produces light and heat. You don't know why the phase of the moon is always the same when over flat earth, the moon must be somewhat close and the phase would have to change dramatically based on the viewer's location. You know that you don't have measurements of flatness. You know that you don't have an explanation for why things are obstructed bottom up in an experimentally confirmed way. All of these things you don't have, you were fooled. You don't have measurements of the earth being stationary. And, and here's the all of, of the thing. All of those things I listed, we do have experimentally confirmed for the globe. You were fooled. You're not that smart. Maybe just acknowledge that you're not that smart and that's why you were fooled. So, <clears throat> Do you think you are going to space? No, I don't think I am going to space. Why would I think that? I never applied. <laughs> and, and, and and then, you know, I think it would be great. I would, if, if I, uh, if I could take a uh, sightseeing trip to space, I would do it, but, uh, I haven't applied to be an astronaut. I don't have the money at the time to do it, uh, privately. Um, though within the next few years, it's going to get cheaper. People have paid to go to space, you know, um, <laughs> blue origin. I'm not, I'm not a fan of, of, the 30 second, not 30 seconds, however many, a few minutes. That's just, uh, that's a lot of money for a short time. I think, I think a SpaceX's idea of, uh, where they, they sent out four people to live in the, the capsule thing for a few days. That was pretty cool. I think that would be neat. And I think the, the, um, space hotel idea that they're kicking around, that's kind of cool. Uh, Caleb Ray says, I'm extremely certain flat smack isn't actually a flirt. Well, it could be. Yeah. Audio is gone, says Emerson Biggis. I don't know. Well, it looks good to me here. So, all right. Let me check here. Do, do. All right. People. Thank you very much. I'm going to, I'm going to get going here. Um, I have, I'm going to wrap it up. Um, I'm going to wrap it up tonight. Just a little bit of editing left to do a video for, for tomorrow on, on, um, Harry Eicher. And <laughs> I made a ridiculous, ridiculously goofy, um, teaser intro to it. The, the whole movie teaser thing. You let me know if you think it, it's funny or if it was, I tried to make it like funny if it if it comes off as if like i'm trying to be serious um i hope not but let me know how how it goes anyway <laughs> uh jason bear says let's throw 18 if you're near dc i'm not near dc i'm in minneapolis so can't can't do it um so anyway people thank you very much um, we'll see you next Tuesday night. I'm going to read this. This is pretty good. Coffee Breath says, trying my dad joke one last time. Buddy, my buddy gave me a terrible thesaurus. It was terrible.